That's why music is so loud. I'll be wondering. How is that soothing? That's not Hikalasi? Yeah, it is. I'm like, I would be like, just can you turn that down, please? But to each their own. What's popping, y'all? Hey, 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 good morning, good morning. What's up, guys? What's up? Y'all, good morning. I've been trying to get you on live for months. Oh, girl. Well, today's the day. How many of y'all was watching that Bray battle? Because I literally just posted part two. And I know I didn't stream it on YouTube, so some of y'all probably didn't see it. How many of y'all was just watching it? I love you too, lay girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, today I have y'all, one of y'all favorite people, London. <laughs> London! I feel like it's been heck of long because I'm used to seeing you so often. It is. Did it feel heck of long? Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. They said, how long did it take you to do those four nights yesterday? Yesterday, it took, well, technically it took seven hours, but we stopped a couple times. So, honestly, if we cut out, like, all the breaks, because my son, um, he was sick yesterday. So, I had to stop and, like, deal with that because he was with his dad. Um, So, that added a little bit extra time. But without the breaks, it would have taken us just six hours. It honestly wasn't that bad, but it is a lot of work, y'all. I posted them recently on my um I posted them recently on my Instagram. I posted them this morning. Yeah, can you show me the last thing you put on your gray band? Oh yeah, I can for sure. It's actually my edge control. <sighs> the dub collection with two packs of hair. Hair be enough for a full head. Yeah, of course. I only use, I don't use a full two packs. I use, usually it takes me five bundles, which is like a pack and two bundles out the pack because y'all know three comes in the pack. So yeah. But yeah, the, um, the, um, what's it called? The, the knotless yesterday, they were really small. Um, it didn't take as long as I thought it would, the baby. It's something I got to practice. It is really hard to break that small, y'all. And I have never really, I don't think I've ever done braids that small. The smallest I've ever done was Trinity. Y'all know when we went viral that one time and y'all hated me on TikTok. <laughs> well, not y'all. Maybe some of y'all. Um, those were eight rows on each side at the top. This time I did, I think I actually fit nine. I tried to fit 10, but I couldn't. I couldn't fit 10. So I did nine rows. If I would have did 10 rows, y'all, them would have been micro minis. I don't know if I got the patience. But they looked really good. I really tried my hardest. And I recorded it, so I'm going to post it. But it's not like a tutorial tutorial. But if y'all just want to watch the process, then yeah, y'all could watch the process. So, yeah. You always using that type of comb. Why don't you use a rat tail? I don't like a rat tail at heel. It doesn't work good for me personally. And this comb is just like, do you not see my fucking parts? <laughs> <laughs> like what? I don't need a rat tail. Yeah, I love this comb. I don't like the precision party combs either. And also, like when I think of tools, like I like a tool that's versatile. Like I can use this for a silk press. I can use it for to smooth something down. I don't have to like switch my combs often. And I like that. I can use this comb literally for everything because you see the teeth are really fine. So you can use it for a slip press. I can use it to comb out because the teeth are wide here. I can use it. I wouldn't like fully detangle, but you know what I mean? Like I can get through somebody's hair. Yeah, I like this comb. This is my holy grail. And for me, like I've been braiding him with all the same stuff for so long. For me to change my process up, it has to be something really good. Like I would have to, it would have to be the best rat tail comb invented. 
You want like a medium, right? Mm -hmm. Medium? So yeah, so how's summer in London? Boring. Damn, I thought you was gonna be outside. So I was like, that I would think you was a tree. I have summer camp, literally. Like what? Nothing. Is it vacation Bible study? No. Okay, we're gonna make that bad. It's for my high school, but still, it's boring. Summer school's supposed to be lit, cause it's like oh, lit. Tired. Are you serious? So Wait, is this like regular school? Yes. I learned geometry. Okay. And oh, next year are you going to high school? Yeah. <gasps> so this is gonna be your first. Oh my god, they gonna throw you in a trash can. I know. <laughs> oh my god. Just kidding. High school is not like that. I definitely thought um, going in as a freshman, I was gonna get bullied. I was like, it's over for me. Oh, we. That's what they've been making it seem like on TV, but it's not. Like no, that. yeah, they do. But oh my god, y'all, London's growing up. <laughs> Oh my god, that means in like two years you're gonna be cussing. Oh my god. Yes, because high school kids be cussing like. No, yeah, they're bad. Hella bad. That's crazy. You do hair fast and neat. Thank you so much, Queen Keish. I try to. You going to the eighth grade? Okay, that's not bad. So you use two different edge controls when braiding. I have 4C hair and the struggle is real. Yeah, I use two different products. I started doing this now because, like, I just need the root of my braids to be sleek. And I feel like the only thing that does that is my edge control. But it, like, it will leave, like, a sticky uh, residue on your finger. So I don't like to braid down with it. So I switch it up. So I do that. And then I use, um, I use lock and twist to braid down. <laughs> yeah. But y'all, these are about to be hella cute because I'm making these full. Y'all know I've been trying to like make my bohemians a lot more full. Yeah. Can I rate Dusty Locaine 1 to 10? I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> what is that? A rapper? I know he's a rapper, but I don't know any songs by him. Oh. Uh, I don't know who that is. Dusty Locaine? Yeah, I never heard of him. Come on now, y'all know I'm 33. Like, what? <laughs> be for real. I barely know Sexy Red. Oh my God. <laughs> I just know the Booty Hole Brown song, but I don't know the, the rest. She got another song? She has Pound Town. Wait, no, no, oh, that's that, that is the mm -hmm. one. That's the only one you know, too? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that's the best one. Honestly. No, when I, at first time I heard that song, I was like, what is this? But now it's kind of catchy. I ain't gonna care. It is. I be like, hey, down, down, it's <laughs> left, down, down. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, you said that's a rapper. Yeah, I never heard of him. Y'all don't be listening to too much rap because it just be, it's a little too much. And then, you know, with my son, I can only listen to certain stuff. I can't, it can't just be too much. So, and if I listen to rap, I'm more of like a, y'all, I'm older. So I'm listening to Kanye West for real. Or like future, you know, mainstream. I don't be doing too much of the clicks and bangs and bells and whistles. That's what that uh, kitchen music be sounding like. I don't be doing too much of that. Yeah, but I, now I'm going to have to listen listen to him. You keeping up with the lady who has cash? Yes, y'all. So she sent me two more pictures of potato. Y'all, she be putting him under the covers. I actually think she's probably taking really good care of him. But it's just so funny because, like, his name is Potato. It's just like, whose oh, he, dog is this? She changed the name? Yes. I don't know if she changed his name, but, like, sh I keep calling him Cash, and she just keeps calling him Potato. So, I'm pretty sure she changed his name, because she was like, can you send Potato's shop records? And I just want to be like, who is that? And so, I'm <laughs> like, oh, here's Cash's records. I'm like, oh. She, she was like, is Potato neutered? Cash was neutered, yes. <laughs> like, I keep doing that, so I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> She's probably like, girl, that ain't his name. So yeah, but I but yeah, she sends me um potato is hella funny here. Like I really just can't get over it. Like it's hella funny because like he's just not that. He's just not that. Yeah, so I feel like I tell y'all this story every live, but yes, I had to rehome my my dogs. 
Um, I was really, really sad about Cash because I was a lot more um, just attached to him than Melo, but I was really sad about both of them, but I, I had to rehome my dogs. First of all, it was just a lot. My dogs were really loud. It was it was a lot. It was a lot. Imagine, like, I barely get any sleep already, and then it's like when I do get a moment to sleep, just waking me up. Like, that literally is the most annoying thing ever. And I'm one of those type of people, like, if I'm home, I'm just not going to have my dog sitting in the crate all day. So it's like I have to let them out. I have to watch them. They would get into stuff. They would chew up Kai's stuff. They're just not trained really well. So that was super frustrating. Cash, he was hella aggressive. He bit my nephew and drew blood. And that was like kind of the final straw for me because it's like he's bit Amani. He's bit Dre multiple times. He bit a kid at the park. He bit my nephew now who literally plays with him and loves him. So it was just like, no, because it's like, I always say this, the moment you bite Cash, you're turning into a corn dog. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Like, no. So, you know, Kai, I could just already tell he was going to be a super active baby. And I just know, like, you know, he going to crawl and, like, do something. And then that's going to be a wrap. Like, if I can't, I can't have an aggressive dog around. And then Mello, he sheds a lot. And we were having issues with um, Kai's allergies and his skin. He has really bad eczema. And so the doctor has had made a suggestion that it could be due to pet dander. Because he'd be sneezing a lot, breaking out a lot, coughing. Um, so she's like, I mean, the, really the only way to know is like to rehome your dog or have somebody foster them for a little bit. So we just decided to rehome, rehome both of them. Initially, we were just going to get give um, cash away and rehome him. But I just didn't think it was fair. And I'm like, also, I didn't want like just to have one dog. I don't know. I felt like, I don't know. Mello's the loud one. Cash is like the crazy evil child. So at first I was really sad, y'all. But to be honest, my ho my home is functioning a lot better. And my son, I won't say his skin is better because it's really not. I'm not going to lie. But I will say he doesn't like sneeze as much. So yeah, that's that on the hot dogs. But yeah, I gave Mello to my cousin Jazz. Do you know my cousin Jazz? I know you used to watch YouTube. Mm -mm. She gets like all the crazy colors in her hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like she had the half and half. Oh, yeah. That's the yeah. one. Yeah. So she has Mellow, which is kind of cool because, you know, I could see him whenever. Like that's, I mean, she lives with my auntie. So it's like I could go over there anytime I want and see him. And then Cash, I actually joined a dog rescue group. Um, a Chihuahua dog rescue group. These people, like, you know, they go in there and they love Chihuahuas and they try to, like, foster or rehome them. And so, yeah, I joined that group and this lady was like, oh, my God, I want him. And, and she sent me some pictures of her other dogs and I was thinking, like, what the fuck? But I could tell she really loved dogs. And so, yeah, that's where he's at. And I was really sad because the first photo she sent me, she shaved off all his hair and nicked him on his neck and he just looked really sad <laughs> he looked really really sad and she was like he's so docile and blah 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 but the other day i can actually show y'all because it's in my pocket she sent me a photo of cash and his new brothers and sisters and she he looked like he fitting in so maybe you know maybe just maybe cash is living his best life in his forever home f-u-r-e-v-e-r -E -E forever you get it fur dog yeah <laughs> So yeah, but let me show y'all, <laughs> let me show y'all potato, but she be kind of annoying y'all. So I didn't know, like, I would say I was a good dog owner in the sense that like, I would take care of my dogs. Like they would be fed, they would be clean, they're not stinky. This is Cash and his brothers and sisters. That's Cash right there. And those are his brothers and sisters. Let me see. I was a good dog owner in the sense that like, you know, I made sure they didn't get no bugs. Oh, here goes some more. He looks sad right there. Oh, wait. Look at Cash under the covers. He's looking off into the distance like, where's my real mama? Because this is some bullshit. 
<laughs> no, Cash likes to sleep under the covers. But yeah, I was a good dog owner in a sense. Like, yeah, I spoiled my dogs, <clears throat> made sure they were fed, always got them treats, you know, like they weren't dirty, didn't have no bugs, nothing like that. But when I gave her my dogs, I'm like, all the stuff she is asking me for, I'm like, baby, what is, like, wait? She's like, yeah, I need to transfer his insurance into my name. Like, what insurance? Like, he never gets sick. I'm not paying insurance for a dog. Like, I'm just not doing that. Like, there was one time when I took, or I took cash to the bed a couple times, and honestly, I just pay out of pocket. Like, it's 400 to $700. Like, I'm not buying insurance when that's, like, a rare thing, you know? I feel like my dogs are not old. And then... She was like, I don't know. Like, she just keeps asking me all these questions. And it's just like, girl, just take the dog and leave me alone. Like, you keep texting me. Like, I need this. I need that. I need this. Like, oh, girl. And so I'm like, damn, was I not a good dog owner? Because, like, what the fuck is all this? She's like, is he registered with the county? Like, what does that even mean? Like, he's a dog. Like, he just lives. Like, am I supposed to register him with this? I'm just so confused. I'm like, girl. I want to write, write here and be like, girl, he's just a dog. Like, I got a dog, moved him into my house, like, all this extra stuff. And, obviously, I got his shots. But all this extra stuff, like, what are you talking about? So, yeah, I was kind of feeling, like, insecure because I'm like, I'm not, am I not a good pet owner? Because I don't know what any of this stuff is. Yeah. And then I told her he wasn't microchipped, and she was like, what? He wasn't microchipped? Like, what? He doesn't even go outside. Like, I told you he doesn't like to walk. Like, what would be the point of me getting him microchipped? You would literally have to come in my house and steal my dog. Like, he won't even run away because he's not going to go anywhere that I'm not present. Like, if I, if I walk outside and I don't leave off the porch, he's not going to leave my side. So, there's, like, no reason for me to get him chipped. Like, what? I was just so confused. I'm like, okay. So... Yeah, but now I'm just like, girl, I just sent her, her his shot record. So she's like, she's like, the pictures are going to keep coming. And I kind of want to be like, can they please actually stop? Like, because <laughs> I feel like he's not my dog. And it just like makes me like, I'm just like analyzing if he's happy or not when I can just like not be bothered. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. like every picture you send me, I'm trying to like peep if he's like, you know, but also, a part of me wants the pictures just to be messy because I want to be like, what? Let me see what you do with it. Let me see. Let me see cash. No, for real. <laughs> but I think he's being taken care of well. Because she looked like she really just be loving her dogs. Like, she don't got nothing but time to love her dog. So, yeah. You and hubby have a beautiful baby. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, y'all. He hasn't been feeling too well. I'm trying to make another baby. <laughs> Not make, but like, you know, I'm trying to have another baby. I want another one. Do you want your kids baby. close to each other in age? Yeah, I feel like me and my brothers were close, so I do want that. But maybe like two years at the most. Y'all, I'm old. Like, I can't just be waiting hella years. Maybe if I would have started younger, but yeah, the most I feel like I can actually wait is like three years but it's just like I don't want to do that mm -hmm. I feel like when Kai turns one I'm like ready but my husband don't want another baby so y'all know what that means I'm just gonna have to trap him <laughs> little, br little Bratron little Roses y'all get the y'all get the picture yeah <laughs> Yeah. Childbirth, um, you know, to be honest, the, the contractions hurt, but I had a C-section, so I kind of, I'm not going to say cheated, because, like, obviously C-sections are hard, but I didn't go through the whole labor. I was only in labor for probably all of, like, an hour at the most. What I did experience, it hurt, but it wasn't, like, nothing where I was like, I'm never doing that shit again. But I will say, just feeling those contractions, I can only imagine what it would feel like, like, that. If I had another baby, I would probably honestly schedule a C-section because, no. Like, no, 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 no. I don't know that I could push a baby out. Absolutely not. Heck, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, they say the second baby is easier. I guess sometimes... I feel like Kai is just such a good baby that I don't know, like, 
I feel like I'm being tricked. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Because it's like, why are you not crying? And, like, why aren't you making hella noise and being annoying? He's just, like, a good baby. Like, he'll just sit there. He chills. He's just a really good baby. No, yeah, because that's how I used to be. I used to cry a lot. A lot? My mom, like, my mom really went to, like, the doctor asking, like, what's wrong with me? Like, why do really? I cry? Really? I was going to say, you remember, but your mom told you. No, yeah, she used to tell me. She, she used to, like, put me in the car, like, at midnight and just drive me around so I could stop crying. Like, it just didn't stop. London, what were you doing? I don't even know. <laughs> Are you emotional now? No, not really. I mean, like, sometimes. but What's it's your like, sign again? Scorpio. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want to, if you had another um, kid, would you want a daughter this time? I, to be honest, like, I really wouldn't mind. I definitely think that I'm a boy mom, for sure. But to be honest, I wouldn't really mind. I feel like I have a boy, which I really, really wanted for my first kid. And so after that, it's just whatever I'm blessed with. But you know how, like, you envision your life being a certain way? Like, I just mm-hmm. don't envision myself having a daughter. It's just, like, I can't see it. So, it would just have to happen. No, I feel like having a daughter, like, you're definitely, like, and you you really have a mini you, like, you're going to have attitudes, and it's a lot. Oh, hell no. See, I just, I don't want that. But I guess, like, with boys, you have to worry about different stuff, too, but yeah. I don't know. Like, I just, I don't see it, but, yeah, I'm not, like, one of them type of people who, like, will be crying, like, <laughs> like, no, it's not that serious to me. I feel like I already kind of, you know. Got that little first one out the way, so it is what it is. Why y'all think I would have a girl? I feel like I would. I don't even think I was going to have a boy this time. I thought I was having a girl. Please check her website. Yeah, I thought I would have a girl. Y'all, if y'all close the chat box and you go to the description section, there's a link to my store. I don't think there's a link to my Etsy, but there's definitely a link to my website for you guys just to make it easier. So are y'all happy to see me on YouTube? Because what, y'all been saying, um, oh, she doesn't show us love no more. Like, I'm going to be on YouTube all week, y'all. Mm-hmm. All week just dedicated to my babies. Like, are y'all like, we don't care, sis. <laughs> just do hair on live. Can I send you some soap for him? I make all natural soap so my kids have eggs and my skin is cleared up. Yeah. The Peculiar Family. I'll definitely share it on my page for you, too. Um, I feel like, so one of my clients <clears throat> made a soap and a cream, like a bath and a cream that we're currently using. And some stuff has helped to maintain it. Not, it doesn't really make it go away, but I'm definitely leaning towards all natural products. So I would love to try out some new stuff and shout you out and all that good stuff. Yeah. Thank you for my edge control. I don't know if you saw my comment. Wait, you got it? Wait, did I pack your, uh, I packed, damn, I forgot, Sierra. DM me, Sierra, if you have an Instagram, okay? DM me. But you couldn't have got it, right? Because didn't you order yesterday? Didn't you order yesterday or am I tripping? So you're not doing nothing exciting for the summer London? Like, I'm no. just really sad for you. I thought you was going to come in here. I've been doing this. I've been living my best life this summer, Bree. You're not doing anything? No, I literally only went to Santa Monica and that's it. I do go to LA next week. But other than that, I'm literally starting school, like, the week after that, too, so. Wait, you start school in, like, two weeks? Well, no, maybe, like, three. What? Why do I feel like summer can't be over? It's over? Yeah, it's over now. I just, I just. What? Last Friday. But right after I graduated, I literally went right to Odell, so it doesn't matter. Like, I'm over. Wait, so this, your summer school is, like high school courses Mm -hmm. okay it's just to get you prepared yeah for high school or what yeah like we have like geometry algebra they got all they got spanish writing debate but it's just to help you prep it's like a prep courses yeah i feel like like all the students but i mean you you don't have to be a student at my high school to do it i guess yeah Yeah, that's what makes it fun because it's like people from everywhere right yeah yeah but is it people you know or did you meet new people? Cause no, I met new people. Okay, so you got new friends? I guess. Damn, you don't sound excited. You want your no new friends right now? Yeah, some of them are annoying, but I mean, I'm going to have to deal Zanga. with them. It doesn't matter. 
I and they're like, I can't wait to get to school scary. here. You're what? My counselor looks like a scary, like. Why? Oh God, he just looks so scary, like, it's not fitting. But I have to what? meet him, I have to meet him on the second, so we'll see. Have you met him, like, formally before? No, I just saw a picture of him. Now he looks like a scary. <laughs> I used to be like that too. When I got my roommates for college, I was like, oh, hell no. I was looking at their picture, but they were actually lit. I was like, oh, this is great. So don't judge a book by its cover. That's true. You never know. Is he black? No. Oh. Ow. <laughs> who this? Who this? Who this? Hello? Hello? No worries. No worries. I had the wrong number. Y'all like my professional voice? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did I sound professional? I don't know who that was. Could have been anybody. I thought it was a bill collector, because you know how when they call, they be hecka silent until you say hello again. Yep. Hello, is this a uh, no, no habla, no habla inglés? Shit, that ain't me. <laughs> but no, somebody had the wrong number. I was trying to just come to the shop and buy your stuff. I'd be so... They were buying a product. I just wanted to be supply. Happy to see you on YouTube, Panda. Thank you. That's always an option, girl. If you just let me know. It feels hella weird being over here. When is the ban lifted? Oh, Sierra, wasn't y'all the ones telling me, come to YouTube, come to YouTube? Now it's weird. You know why it's weird? Is because we don't have no music. That's why. Um, I got banned off TikTok <laughs> for the next six days. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I love y'all too. But I got banned off TikTok, though, for six days because um, Cousin Mo doesn't know how to be appropriate. So. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get banned before that with Donald because he was No, on the battle. Not playing. No, I know. I was, like, surprised. He be going in. But they just be picking and choosing. They be picking and choosing. I'm surprised, too. And were you in there when we did that prank on the money? Yeah. Yeah, so. Why like, do I think that, um. Not even that one. Why did I think that when she had left, I thought that was so real. Like, I thought Charlie was about to be. I did too. Because she was seeming real serious. I was like. She was hella serious. I watched it back too. Like, girl, you know you were serious. But she said she wasn't serious. (laughs) She said she was serious at first, but then she wasn't serious. Yeah, when she left, I was like, oh my God. I don't know. Y'all know Buki be lying. (laughs) But I got my get back real quick. That was too easy. That was too easy. So, yeah, I thought we were going to get banned with that because Don was talking about, I'll bust you outside there with this virus. You be I said, oh, yeah, this is about to be ended. But no, but Monique said the R word and now banned. So, yeah, but it's okay, y'all. We'll be back over there soon. Damn. We'll be back over there soon. But until then, I'm going to be chilling with y'all. Period. So yeah, you already got your outfits. You already went school shopping. I have to wear uniform. What? <laughs> what kind of uniform? Like a laxed one or like polo no, shirt? No, we're, we have to wear uh, polo shirts. We can wear whatever jeans we want to. Damn. So all you could do is really come with shoe game. Yeah. And then spirit week, they be letting y'all dress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was me. I wore uniform all high school. That's why I don't know how to dress. This is the second time I've actually been for the R word. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The R word is retarded. <laughs> you can't say that. It's not nice. And she be saying it. But it's like TikTok be letting you say a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. So you like it over here, Mari. Why do you like it better over here? I'm just curious. Only thing, I actually love YouTube. I love my YouTube people because it's always positivity and like cool over here. The only thing I don't like is that I can't play music and the TikTok camera is more crisp. So I feel like on YouTube, like you can see my work, but how it looks in real life is not how it looks on the camera because it's like the YouTube, like it's just this camera is not clear. Let me actually wipe it off. It's just not clear. So I feel like my parts just don't be looking as crisp as they actually are. And that really pisses me off. It really does. So, yeah. You like the setup better on TikTok? Yeah. So I'll be back. I'll be trying to do both sometimes, but yeah. Oh, yeah, you could rewatch it over here, Mari. That's right. It'd be the easier words that get you in, no, for real. But when you say MF-er, 
they don't be tripping. But yeah, did y'all enjoy the battle? The battle was fun. The battle was fun. London said she was laughing. What was your favorite part? I think I like the sabotages. Like I like yeah. how you added stuff. I did. I feel like I, that made the, the battle like more fun. Like it's not just they just braided, like they're adding sabotages and stuff. Like that's that was smart. I gotta come up with some more sabotages. I was gonna do a baby mama sabotage where <laughs> one of them had to wear my son on them while they was braiding. Cause you hey, you gotta go to work and do your thing, you gotta go to work and do your thing, but Oh my god, that would have been so funny. <laughs> I was just picturing Donald doing it. But then I was like, no, because Donald ain't finna cuss my baby out. Get your big ass hand out my way. Move. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. But yeah, no, the sabotage has definitely made it fun. I think it would be more fun if we did like a quicker style too, you know? Yeah. Like a smaller amount of time. That's the only thing is like it takes heck of long. And I'm a pretty fast braider, but they don't they took six hours, which is like normal. But I feel like when you're just sitting there watching it, it's just like, oh my god, like and then obviously they're trying to do their best work so it kinda like slows it down too, you know? Yeah. So yeah yeah yes and both b battles were enjoyable okay Juju you see i just uploaded the second one on um youtube because like i said i didn't stream on youtube i feel like i don't have two okay at the salon i have a double ring light like i could put two phones on my ring light at my house i don't so i just feel like it's just a lot when i'd be trying to have both going at the same time over there because i gotta hold one and the other one not so yeah Get a doll baby or a sack of sugar for the baby mama. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get some sabotage ideas from y'all because most of them were the ones that we did again. The only one we didn't do was the kid braider. Oh, yeah. And that's only because Donald had me in the head like, I'm like, you can't be doing this to other clients. You could do it to me, though. <laughs> I am going to do a braid battle on stitch braids, and I'm going to do it on kids, too. We're going to do a tender-headed kid battle. Ooh, that's about to be so that's weird. gonna be hella funny because i want kids who cry getting their hair done not no easy ouchy ouch 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 no i want to i want tears from the kids <laughs> oh my god oh my god yeah i feel like i feel like um donald will be heck of bad it was like why are you crying like donald was so no donald can't do nothing on no kid <laughs> he can't do nothing on no kid because he'll get to cussing Sit the f down for I tell your fucking mama. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how he would act with a real kid. He might he might be able to censor himself. But he's just so funny, y'all. I be trying to get him fired up because he's just hella funny. But the second battle, he was not playing with y'all. He put his headphones in. You peep that? Yeah, he was really actually silent. Like he was He was like, I'm not finna entertain y'all. I was actually proud of him because I definitely was trying to take him there. Y'all know I'll be messy. I'm messy trying to read a comment or two. He'd be like, now, nah, Bree. Or he'll be like, who said that? And then he'll go and start looking. I'll be dying. Like, that's hilarious. But he'd be so mad because he'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like, you gaslighting me. Y'all know I'd be reading fake comments. You gaslighting me. So, yeah. I'm like, let me leave my friend alone for a little bit. Because I really love him. But it's just it's so funny. Not in that salon team, Mo. Uh-uh, Sierra. Yeah. Um, I actually don't think I have a membership anymore, but to, before to be a channel member, you just had to pay a monthly fee. Um, and there was different levels to it. But hopefully my membership is canceled. I just was a lot for me to try to do my regular content and content for my members. And I feel like, you know, if I'm a charge y'all or charge for something, I wanted it to be of value. So I took my membership away, but maybe it'll be something I revisit because I feel like I still like to post tutorials, but they don't really get that many views anymore. I think people just like live. Um, look at me real quick. They're more into the live content, so it's kind of just like I don't want to waste my time making tutorials, but if people actually want to learn, like maybe I'll just do it for my membership. Because right now it's just like, why am I putting my effort into these tutorials and they don't even really be getting views like that, you know? So I might just change it to where like I just style live on here and then in my membership I'll do tutorials, which I think. Which I'll thank you. Mm -mm. You still watch people on YouTube on um, London? Not really. Only if it's like if you on live or something, but I don't really watch. 
Nickelodeon. But like, how you used to? What did you used to watch? Couples. Dear and Ken. Really? You just I watch Dierra sometimes. She actually is still entertaining. Like she be traveling the world and she's really unbothered. So I mean, I like watching her still, but I just don't watch it as much. A lot of people. But you don't still watch Ken? Though. No. Dang. Because he's a cheater. Like. Again. How do you know he cheated? He got caught. Oh uh, really? That's caught. why they broke up. Uh huh. What? These girls took a video of him, like literally, like flirting. With the girl oh, I think I remember that a long time ago. But was that real? You thought that'd be fake. It had to be. Like I feel like he really he wanted something different. I guess I don't know. Or what if their relationship was fake? You ever thought about that? No. Actually, no. Nah, they were engaged, huh? <laughs> yeah, they were engaged. <laughs> I'll be counting how many times Panda reaches for hair. Yeah. Um. I don't really put like a certain amount y'all like I really go based off the way that my braid is forming and I've been braided for so long that I can <clears throat> pretty much feel it in my hands <clears throat> excuse me when I need to add hair or not so I don't really do a certain amount of pieces but if I had to guess I probably do like three at the top and then I add two more at the bottom I'm always watching the tutorials watch it rewatch it and then try it okay she said she didn't leave from the cheating. It was other things because he's cheated before. Dang. Oh. Dang. I wonder what it was. I mean, sometimes people just outgrow people for real. Like, because weren't they together when they were hecka young? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes that's hard. It's just like the older you get, you start to realize, you know, what you really value in life and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the YouTube couples always be breaking up. But you said everybody wants to be YouTubers like every like teenage girl like they just all started youtube channels like oh uh, yeah just like lifestyle type stuff yeah yeah some of it's interesting though i like aesthetic channels me too i watch like two girls but then like that's it like i'm not gonna watch the whole yeah i feel like for me i don't know i'm more in like a funny type of like I don't really like to watch travel and stuff, but yeah, it's like you gotta have personality for me to watch you. Yeah, that's the only way you gonna hook me in. We need you to battle someone, Panna. Although to me, you will always be the best, <laughs> y'all. So you know what's crazy is like, since the battle, I've been looking at my braids like, oh, bitch, you fucked that row up. And I was like, if you was in a battle, they would have ate your ass up for that part. So I've been trying to perfect my work because, y'all, I'm not perfect. Like, I do good hair, don't get me wrong, but, like, I'm not perfect. But I wouldn't mind battling, but I feel like it's kind of biased because, like, if I'm battling on my platform, I mean, unless y'all think y'all could keep it a honey. Oh, yeah, that's true. But I feel like it's kind of biased because it's, like, you know, I feel like some of my people are going to ride with me regardless. Some of y'all would probably keep it lit. Like, I love you, Panna, but she got you on this one. Then I'm going to have to get the block in y'all asses like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, y'all, I don't really like to battle. Like, I don't really like to battle. But I probably would just for shits and giggles. It can be like B Bobby Flay. <laughs> but B Dope Ass Panna. Wow. Yeah. You got to come see the hoes. Yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. What style would I battle on? Like, what? <laughs> oh, now I'm nervous. Oh, God. Oh, you bitches think you better than me. What's the battle? What's the battle? <laughs> Some people really would battle. I'm not, I never said I was good. I'm just a good teacher. And I feel like I have a cool personality. So it's like, but I never said I was the best, though. Wow. Y'all want to see Panda battle, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Now that I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Wow, Sierra. I thought you worship my dirty draws. You going to tell me when I'm not doing shit right? That's the type of friends I need. So far. Actually, no, I know you is going to keep it lit because you already told me I can't come over. I don't want to come over because when I come to people's house, I just like to drink up all their juice, eat up all their snacks, and lay on the couch for so long that there's a dent in it. Y'all let people go in y'all fridge when they come to your house? Monday. No. What? Don't touch me, I'm just kidding. 
touch. Not don't touch. I don't want to get up in front of them, so yeah, they got a little more fridge because I don't want to feel. I was like, like you're not a good host. Yeah. You're not gonna cater to me. I mean, if if it's the first time, yeah, but if at this point, if it's the second time, like okay. No, I be good. hating that. Like when people have been in my house five times and they're like. And Can I get some juice? Yourself, like, like, girl, just get it yourself, please. you know where the cups are and the pots and pans. If you're hungry, you can get up and do it yourself. Can you grab some noodles for me? No. Ain't nothing wrong with your hands. <laughs> yeah. After the third visit, it's like you live here. Just, you don't get no key, though. Yeah. But at that point, yeah, you live here. So, it's like, I'm not doing anything for you. I'm not hosting you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Sorry, I'm trying to get y'all the best angles. Your skin looks good though, Linda. Thank you. Hey, there's a lot of people in here for it to be a Monday. I'm supposed to be, it's supposed to be quiet in here. <laughs> so what's your back to school hairstyle or is it a secret? I don't know. My mom is, oh my gosh. She, but you know, she actually she actually said I probably can get a half up half down, so I'm baking. Oh, you're trying I to step get first, step. So like, Oh, oh, you're too, I can get those after. You're too good for braids now. I'm not, but like, I'm uh, going to high school, like, I should be able to really get what you styled. Like, what? Okay, so you think you're grown, girl. <laughs> nah, it's like, once you elevate to weaves. Do you but like, I want to I wanna balance it, though. Like, you know, like, I want to get braids, and then I want to get, like, weave styles. I, like, I honestly, I feel like. Full weaves are not my thing, but I feel like I can do a half up, half down. Have you I had a full weave? Yes, you did, you did it. Oh, me? Yeah, for my graduation. Uh, it was actually really cute. Was it? I really, it really ate down for my cap and gown. It looked really good. Oh, yay. You got pictures? No. Oh, yeah, I do. Wait. I'm like, you don't have pictures from your graduation? Okay. A half up, half down is actually hella cute on you. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, yeah, it so was. Bomb. It was really. I love that style. Like it really ate down. You like the half up, half down better? Yeah, that's for sure my go-to. I love a good half up, half it's, down. Yes, that was hecka cute. I had that. You did it for my birthday, and then when we had did that one with um, when I had went to Hawaii, that was really cute too. Yeah, I be trying to switch it up, but deep down inside, I just only want stitch <laughs> braids and half up, half down. No, literally for reals. I've been wanting to try the weave in the back with the braids in the front, though, lately. Oh, yeah. I definitely have, but I just haven't. She sounds so mature and cute. Oh, she's super cute. Thank and she's you. pretty mature. She's pretty mature. <laughs> she be having her moments, y'all. Oh, my You didn't gosh. go to the uh, heat recital thing, huh? No. Okay, yeah, I didn't see you there. How's Zion? <sighs> she's good. Oh. She's <laughs> No, we are. Oh. But, you know, people change. Yeah. Like. Okay, that's all you have to say. <laughs> she different? Very, from, you know, like, after she left heat, like, yes. Oh, okay, okay. But I mean, at the end of the day, like, we're, like, you know. Are y'all moms best friends or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I, so Zion's like, yeah, but. We, but, like, they knew each other before heat, right? Mm -hmm. Your moms? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because they used to, um. They were they went to church like together as babies and then we end up like me and Zion end up going to the same church so like it's oh, just like a okay. legacy kind of so y'all are sisters in Christ yeah okay <laughs> that's what it is let me say neighbor look at your neighbor the little say neighbor I used to hate when they do that <laughs> you gotta look neighbor the fuck feels like turn to your neighbor and tell them it's like okay no for real hug the person sitting next to you like bruh. <laughs> Get to the prayer so we can get on to eat. Literally. <laughs> I'm so done. Yeah. I don't care how many times I've been in somebody's house. I still ask. It's just me. I'm very respectful of people's property. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> no respect. Now, I definitely ask. Unless it's like... Actually, no. I, I typically ask. But I don't be wanting to, though. But I do, though. But it's like, I don't like people to pour my juice because it's like, when you go to people's house and they pour you a cup of juice, it's not even half a cup. Like, bitch, fill it to the rim. Yeah. I want you to have to walk with it slowly. Like, that's how much juice I want. It's like, baby, trying to be conservative. Like, girl, at this point, I'll drink whatever is left in the carton. And then they be like, would you like a water? And it's like that half gallon of water. It's like, no, I want simply lemonade. 
or I want that soda that I seen when you open the fridge door that's on the side of the fridge, even though it's the last one. That's what I would like. <laughs> I'm one of those type of people. So who, who wants me to come over? Who wants to sleep over? A week. I'm so dead. I'm just kidding, y'all. Are y'all really about to uh, do that tour? Yeah. That we're talking about? Mm -hmm. When? September. October. What? November. December. I'm only going for a week. October? Yes. Why? I know it's your birthday month, London. I'm not going to be gone all <laughs> month. Why? Like, I'm not leaving all month. When's your B-Day? That's a very special time because I have homecoming. Baby. And I have my birthday. Boopy. And I just feel like. You better get a versatile style. I put it in a bun. <laughs> Girl, what, uh, you already know your homecoming date? Yeah. Uh, I can't, I can't have nobody from outside of the school. Like, be there. what? Wait, to come? Yes. That's weak. Why? Because they don't do that. Like, they're so, oh my God, I'm just over it. Not period. Let it spill over. Let's get this day home. Sierra. <laughs> Sierra. What's up, Glenda? I have a mixed granddaughter. Okay, period. You trying to learn how to do some braids? Um, when's your birthday? Like beginning? Late, late? No, it's the end. It's oh, like okay. it's twenty six. Oh, so you'll be fine. Yeah, I'm only going for like a week in every city. Don't no, bring your own refreshments. To. No, I don't want to. I don't want to bring my own refreshments. <laughs> I want to eat your food. I want it to be on your dime. You're the host. Oh my god! You said oh. what? I said what cities are y'all going to? We're going to. Los Angeles, okay. Las Vegas, the DMV, Atlanta. You're going to get a lot of clients in the DMV. Oh, for sure. Atlanta. Um, wait, I'm having a brain fart. Atlanta, Detroit. Um, Atlanta, Detroit. Oh, and we're thinking about Texas, but I just don't know. I don't know about Texas. But I got family out there, so I feel like it just would be easy, but we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. But those are like the top of our list. I feel like I'm forgetting one. LA, Vegas, Atlanta, Detroit, DMV, Texas. I feel like there's a place I'm missing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said we're part of DMV. I'm going to, we're, we're going to do a week in um, D.C., a week in Maryland, and a week in Virginia. I know it's all close, but we're going to hit up each city. That's going to be real. We're staying out there longer because my husband's family is out there, y'all know, so it's just going to be a little, you know, staycation. And they can help me with Kai. Um, and just, like, time for them to see him because they literally have not seen him since he was born, and I don't like that. I'm not like one of them. I'm really big on family, so I want to make sure they feel included and they get to see him. And I want Kai to know who they are. Even though he's really young, he probably ain't going to remember, but still. I don't ever want him to be like, where's my dad? You know? Where's yeah. my dad's side of the family? So I'm going to try to go out there for a little longer. Um, and my mom is going to come out there for a little bit, and then they'll be out there too. It's ghetto here, but you don't mind. It's ghetto here where? Come to Petersburg, Virginia. Oh, okay. I feed everybody like my home is yours. Shit, you want a blanket? Are you cold, hot, hungry? Literally, cat is my guess. Yeah, I do too. I do too. I do too. But y'all, some people don't like company. Like Sierra, weren't you saying you don't um, like company? Like I love company. I don't. Really? I, I love. Company. I used to hate. Like my mom still does it to this day. Like she like she'll literally talk about stuff. Oh, you can come over to my house, and I'm like, what? Like, because you said it to my friend, like, about some, oh, you want to sleep over at, you know, like, our house. It's like, well, no, like, London didn't say that. And not I'm, inviting your friends but over. I really keep telling her, like, you're not entertaining them. Like, I have to. Like, I don't know. I want to be in my own bed by myself. You know what it's giving? <laughs> you know what it's giving? <laughs> Only child syndrome. It is. I ha Exactly. That's what I have. I'm like the opposite of you. When Amani <laughs> comes over... It'll be like 2 a.m. and she's like, all right, I'm going to leave. And I'm like, why are you leaving? <laughs> are you? And she's been over She's no, been I'll over be there since that. 12. Like, no, it's like, like, are you going to come spend time with me? Like, I just, so I'm the type of person, like, well, first of all, my husband goes to the studio a lot at night. So it's just like, it's just me and Kai. And I'm a person that just thrives off of like, I like to be around people. Yeah. Like, even if you're not, even if I'm not talking to you, <clears throat> 
excuse me, like when Monique comes over, it's like she'll kind of go in the guest room and just be doing her thing. But it's like, I just know you're there. So it's like, if I want to talk to you, I could come. It's like, why are you leaving? And why aren't you spending the night and trying? Why aren't you trying to live here? It's like, yeah. Like, Monique spent the night in my house the past two days, and she went home yesterday. And when I asked her if she was going home, and she said yes, in my head, I was thinking, why <laughs> would you ever want to go home? Why would you not want to come back to my house? But whatever. <laughs> I get so bored. And then it's like, when I'm at home by myself, I just FaceTime my friends and sit on FaceTime, even if we're not doing anything. Because it's just like, I can't be by myself. That's an issue, huh? Yeah, kind of. But sometimes I go through periods where I'm like, I don't feel like talking yeah and I need my space I do have that but usually with my friends it's like yes come over like what I want you here every day yeah we're thinking about Texas y'all have it it's not set in stone but I'm definitely thinking about it but the first two cities are Los Angeles and Las Vegas and I'm really excited for both it's gonna be a lot of fun so So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited to meet some people too. Um, Glenda, everything okay over there? What's going on with Glenda? I'm trying to read y'all comments, but I can't see every single one. What's what's what's, what's going she's on? Eleven apparently. Glenda. First of all, you not eleven with the name Glenda. Let's start with that right there, because I ain't never met no Glenda. That's young. And number two, give your phone back. To your mom. That's why I see my kids ain't having no social. Actually, nah. <laughs> you know what it is? It's hard to say like your kids can't have social media because then it's like they're gonna be outcast. Yeah. You know, or cell phones too. How old were you when you got your phone? First grade. First grade. Yeah, I got an iPhone five. How old is that? With the Hello Kitty case. <laughs> First grade. That has to be like eight. Wait, no, my nephew's in. My nephew's eight. He's in the second grade. Seven, six, seven? You can't even talk. Yeah, like seven. What? That's crazy. Yeah. Were you using it at school? No, I had to um I had to turn it off before I got into class. Oh, okay. But I mean I used to just play games on it, but I really I did get social media at a at a young age though. Like what? How old were you? Like second grade. What? <laughs> what social media did you have? Instagram. In second grade is crazy. I've been what were you posting on there? Like stupid selfies of myself. What? <laughs> oh no 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 no. No. What? I feel like you don't even need a phone until you like eleven for real. You really don't, honestly. Like I have this one friend. Where her parents, like, her parents, like, don't let her really, um, her parents don't let her watch, like, PG-13, uh, stuff. And she has, like, the kids' account and stuff. And, like... Wait, this is one of your friends? Yeah, and, like, she just... How old are y'all? Are you 14 or 13? I'm 14. You're 14? But she, she just turned 14, like, in May. And she can't watch a PG-13 movie? That's crazy. Yeah. But, I mean, like... It's kind of good, though, because I feel like she's not exposed to as much as we are. So mm-hmm. it's like she's still kind of in her life. she's like, what's a kiss? Like that? No, that, like, that's just what she is. Like, like we what? like we talk about what our teacher like and stuff like that. Or like we're in like, uh, sex ed. She's like, what is this? What is that? And we're just what? like, oh, God. I feel like that's good to a certain extent. Like, I yeah. definitely, you know, I grew up kind of like that. Like, I couldn't watch, I wouldn't say PG-13, but I couldn't watch, like, BET for real like I didn't get to watch all the black movies until I got older you know, y'all know like Boys in the Hood and all that <laughs> but so I feel like some of it was good because it kind of sheltered me from stuff but then it's like I was also kind of a gang goofy a little bit like I don't want my son to be a goofy like you need to know what certain stuff is but to each day on I guess it, it could be working let's get y'all back just a little bit yeah See London, that's why that's why they want to come to your house. What? We got our daughter a phone at eight so she could FaceTime dad on deployments looking back. It was a bad idea. Keep your children away from stuff as long as possible. Yeah, my nephew, he has an iPad. Um, and he's eight, and that's how we like FaceTime and stuff. I feel like before he could read, I wasn't really as nervous because I found out, y'all, that they be like there be like pedophiles on um Roblox and they be mm-hmm. trying to like date the kids. 
And so, you know, if you could read the comments, they'll be like, oh, will you be my boyfriend? Will you be my girlfriend? Yeah. And they're talking to you through the chat. But I wasn't really tripping because I'm like, my nephew can't even read for real. Like, so I know he's really on here playing games. But now that he can read, um, you know, I'll be just a little bit more nervous. Like, who you playing with? What you doing? You know. But, or some of the shows he watches on YouTube are just inappropriate. Like, he was watching these puppets. One of the puppets talking about um, sit on my face. I'm like, what is this? Like, uh-uh. yeah, it's a puppet called called Heffy or Jeffy or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, and I'm no, like, that's not appropriate. My, um, my classmates used to watch that in fourth grade, and they used to act like an actual fool over that. Like they would do that stuff in class, and it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't really know know what he does for real, but I, you know, so sometimes, um, like if my nephew needs to charge his iPad, he'll plug into the the car speaker. So this time it was plugged into the car speaker. So it's like, I'm listening, but I'm not really watching, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know how cartoons will say stuff, but it's like a joke and we just know what it is because we're older? Yeah. But this, I'm like, no, this is not appropriate. Like, no, it's really if they say something that's like a joke, but I get it because I'm older, but no, that's not appropriate. So yeah, I be trying to monitor him and stuff, but at the end of the day, that's not my kid. So it's like... You know, I'm a fish. I'll be on Kayaz because you're not just going to be watching anything. They have crazy stuff on um, Roblox because I was watching the Kardashians and they had... Um, oh, her tape? Mm-hmm. Yes. I was like, oh my God. Like, yeah. I feel like no matter what, you just have to be careful. I think the parents who are, you know, in their kids' business and paying attention, you'll be fine. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, really that's what anything. There's no way I feel like that you will just be able to shield your kid from everything, but... Hopefully, like my nephew knows, you know, if you they get to saying cuss words, you turning that off, at least in front of me, he'll do yeah. it. Yeah, all I gotta do is say what was said, <laughs> and then I see his little finger swipe. I'm like, Yeah, because no, you're not watching that. No, we were literally, I was talking to my friend, and we were just talking about like how a lot of people are, um, our age, like they're just so bad, like they just, just do anything bad, like what, like just not listen to the teacher, no, bad? like juvie. Oh, what? Like, like in... No, actual... like, like she was like my friend. Like, she, she lives in San Francisco, so, like, she's... You know how, like, you know, you live in the neighborhood, so, like, you're surrounded by these, like, like certain type of kids? Mm-hmm. And, like, she had went out with them and, like, her other friend, and they were, like, they were in the parking garage talking about some, all right, y'all, so, like, which car are we going to get? Like, talking about what? the car. And, mind you, they already, they're already on probation. Like, their phones are really, like, with the county. Like, they, yeah, like, they have ankle monitors, all that. And it's just, it's... Yeah, see, I feel like that's my biggest fear because some kids, I feel like, are steered in the wrong direction because of the circumstances, like, you know, their parents not doing this or that. But sometimes, too, I feel like you could take a really good kid and he could be surrounded by the wrong people. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's just like, he could turn out, you know, a whole different way than what you're raising him to be. So that kind of makes me nervous, but... Shoot, I'm going to do my best to teach Kai the right way because y'all generation is just really rebellious, I feel like. Yes. Like, no lacking manners, lacking communication skills, just a lot. Like, on the news today, like, they were they were talking about how, like, it was, like, 81 juveniles that, had to, um, that they had locked up because they were, like, dancing and spray painting on buses in San Francisco and stuff. And, like, they had a heck of police out there. And that was people that she had knew. I'm just like, it's that's crazy we need to bring the uh be in before the street lights back huh <laughs> <clears throat> do you do kids hair 10 and above yes i do i do yeah we need to bring that be in before the street lights back because y'all running a muck y'all running a, a muck a muck a muck we need to get rid of this gentle parent start whooping that ass again i mean <clears throat> hi guys <laughs> oh Look, we need to start uh, getting them switches back, huh? Hey, girl, I haven't caught your live in so long. I was working. Hope all is well. Everything is great, y'all. Everything is going Gucci with me. Gucci. So I'm doing something different on London's hair today. I'm actually using bundles that I cut, like human hair bundles. Um, I typically use human hair braiding hair, but I just wanted to see, like, what it would look like with a bundle. So I had two bundles. I was actually supposed to do my own hair with these, but y'all see I got my hair done in the battle. So 
I'm just using it on her and I'm gonna just see how it turns out and I'm trying to make them pretty full so I'm adding multiple pieces to one so hopefully it's looking full you like it mm -hmm. it's looking good I've been trying to make my um my bohemian just a little bit more full because I followed this uh, lady on Instagram named Bora Braids and I really really love like how her shit damn near looks like a weave and braids I like that so I've been trying to just play around with how many pieces to add and what's the best hair to use and everything to get the best look so we'll see I, I bought these bundles off Amazon I don't think they were heck expensive but I got them because I wanted some longer bundles too because typically the braiding hair I use is 18 inches I wanted something a little bit longer <clears throat> do I talk fast London kind of you talk fast yeah, like sometimes when you tell the story, it's like, 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 like that. Oh, no, yeah, I do, I do. I really do, because I be choking on my words. Mm, trying to get it out. Like, what am I even saying? I teach my daughter, it's how my granny taught me, straight old school, though, for real. I could ask in my house, mixed with gentle parenting, I don't play with kids. I don't play. I don't play, wait. And I don't play about them, though, for real. <clears throat> I really feel like uh, I'm going to be that way with my son, like. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna grow him, grow him. I'm definitely gonna raise him to be respectful. Like one thing that I really, really am gonna be adamant about is like when you meet adults like saying Miss Bree, Miss, like even if you're not heck older than him, London, like Miss London, Yeah. you know, like if it's a cousin, like his, like little Mario or something, okay, that's different. But anybody that you're meeting, it's Miss blah, 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 until they say like, oh, you can call me, you know, Whatever, I really, yeah, because I feel like just, my nephew, we call him my, his, my brother, his uncle, Birdo. He just, we call, calls him Birdo. No. <laughs> like, what? That's like him coming up to me and saying, hey, Bree. Like, absolutely not. Oh, yeah, that's kind of like. No. Or like his friend's mom's. I'm like, it's Miss Jasmine. You don't just say, hi, Jasmine. That's No, yeah. And I remember right. also, she told me, like, like, I have, like, older cousins, but, like, old, old cousins, so, like since they're like really adults like I have to like auntie. I mean like auntie yeah 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 I do that too with a couple of my older cousins um auntie just seems better it does because I'm not calling you cousin so. yeah cousin is just weird because we're not equal <laughs> right yeah but there are definitely a couple of traditional things but I don't think I'm going to be overbearing um with my parenting but definitely just little manner things one thing I'm not going to play about though is school because I'm big on that like School for me is important. Like, obviously, I want my kids to be smart, but it's more so about the discipline. Like, you got to get up. You got to go to school. You got to do this. Like, this is life. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's going to carry you through work when you get older and just everything. So, I'm not, one thing I'm not playing about is school. Yeah, no. All that fake. I'm sick. My tummy hurts. So, okay. Tum tums. Now go to school. All that faking. Uh uh. But I think if you make school uh, fun from the beginning, they'll like it. I think the pandemic kind of messed it up for my nephew because he, that boy did not like school. <laughs> but he did his first two years online and I feel like it's just not, like you don't get that interaction with the kids. You're not yeah. playing at recess. He's like, it's just boring. All we do is learn, you know? And then it's like, when they would have their little breaks, it would be 15 minutes. I would give him his iPad and then taking his iPad back from him is kind of just like, now he upset, you know? He's like, oh mm. yeah. You're taking it because I have to do school. I used to hate online learning. Like, really? that really messed, like, that did mess things up. I feel like being older, I would have liked it, but not at his age. Like, not as a kid. Like, who wants to do that? I used to just, I used to be there. I used to put on the top, and I will keep my pajama pants on. I'm and weak. I would be in bed. Like, I could not do that. I'm weak. My mom Not you would be in bed. Me. No, I seriously, I couldn't do this anymore. Like, I really wanted to go back to school. Was it hard for you to learn? Yes. On a computer, like, that is kind of crazy. Like, you can't really expect us to, like, learn science on a computer. And, like, they would have us, like, read books out loud. And it's, like, people's internet looks, like, funny. So it's, like, just mm. stuff. Y'all, I wish, like, my kids could have one of them teachers that be on TikTok where they be having hella fun with the school. I feel like, where, um, yeah. where are they at? Public schools, mostly. Really? Yeah. Mm. And they gotta be a really young teacher too, though. Most most times they be young, but like I be seeing like substitute teachers and stuff. But this time I be seeing classroom teachers. Yeah, 
that's pretty lit. I used to want to be a teacher. I feel like all girls when we younger want to be teachers, huh? Yeah, I feel like in kindergarten I want to be a college professor. Oh, you want to be a college professor? I was just thinking, <laughs> I just wanted to be a math teacher. A math teacher? Why math at all? I love teacher. math. I don't know. You don't like math? No. What, you I like, you like, like writing? Yes. I'm See, really I feel writing. like people are one or the other. You either like math or you like writing. Yeah, for my high school application, like when I was writing, I was like, I know I'm going to get in. Like, I am really hoping. Oh, you, you be eating it like that? Yes. Yeah, so, like, I was like, I did really good. Yeah, writing. I'm really good at writing a last minute paper, but mm -hmm. I feel like I just sit in front of the screen and like I type the first sentence hella times. No, literally, I keep that's editing I it. I'm a really big procrastinator. Like it's bad. Like I need to really fix that before I go to high school. Cause or I'll write one paragraph and then I'd be like, mm, I'm gonna take a break. No, that's me. Like yeah, I was like okay. And then the paper is due at 11:59 and 11:30. I'm like, oh shit. But I always be like, I always say like it it'll get done. Like mm -hmm. even how it to last me like it's gonna get done. I feel like I just think better when it's like, I know I got to write this in 20 minutes. Yes, like I just, like, yes, that's the, that's the fun of being a procrastinator. Like, it's going to get done. Right. Like, you just don't know when. Like, while y'all were stressing the whole week about it, I just stressed that one day and I got it done. So right. Funny. That's like a funny. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Exactly, Sierra. So true. I hate math, but I love to write, and I loved English class growing up. I hated English class, y'all. Oh my god, I just, I just don't like writing. But I think it's just because I was not like that good at it. I'm the type of person in my head, I like. It's just hard for me to put it on paper. Mm -hmm. But if you want me to do a presentation where I have to like stand in front of you and tell you, like I could do that. But it's just writing it down. I feel like. I would just keep saying the same thing over and over with different words. It's just, it's hard. I put my kids in activities at school. They love school. Like my babies cry when they can't go to school. Snowstorms, they'd be so sick about it. What? Your <gasps> kids are built different. Mine can't even pronounce my name. I would hate to have him add something extra to my name. He's American, never left the States, but he has an English accent. Who are you talking about, your boo? Or what y'all talking about? I used to love when um, this year they actually gave us a lot of days off, like just for stupid stuff. And you know when we was having like the rain and stuff and like mm -hmm. the flooding, like we got a week off of that. What? And then I'm like gonna write a letter. One day it was hecka hot to where you couldn't go to school. And I was just like, oh my god, this is just amazing. It's too hot. Y'all can't. Yes, yeah, I promise you, we really, we really did not go to school because it was too hot. I was like, no, yes. I'm gonna start writing letters. <laughs> not yes. Mm mm. Y'all bet you want to be at school. But high school is really high school. fun. You might actually really like it. A lot I feel better. no. I feel like I totally will like it. It's just that I really gotta re really do like work. Like this is not middle school, but like this is like <laughs> this wow. the big leagues. Huh? Yeah, it's like oh my god. Yeah, I loved high school. I would definitely go back. Yeah, I would go back. Mm -hmm. Loved English, math, suck, pass, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Valerie, baby. That's literally first grade. <laughs> <laughs> so you wasn't trying to do nothing else. Two plus two equals four. Four divided by two is two. And that's where you draw the line? That's crazy, Valerie. My daughter ages five, twelve, 12, and 7. Okay. I know that 12-year-old giving you some work, huh? Yeah, I love math, y'all. Valerie, you're hella funny. I think every subject is really cool. I love history. I'm really good in history. Like, I really do like history. But I feel like science. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I liked history, too. I liked I history. Really science so can really suck it. I hate science. But I feel like most of the time, like, I just hate subjects because of the teacher. Like, when my science teacher this year, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Because they make it harder to learn or they just do too much or what? They do too much. And it's like... You're just like... What's doing too much to you? Like, giving you okay. homework? Not giving us homework, but like, she used to just do a lot. Like, I feel like she would give us like all these like research papers and stuff. I understand like some, but it's like every single week. And like, even the other teachers like knew she was doing like a lot. And like, she had a, like a lot of favoritism. Like, mm. if a girl, like this one girl, um, she calls her like her niece or whatever. So she said... The teacher like, calls somebody her niece? And she's like, 
it's, if it's over, like, you know, it's overwhelming for me doing this, like, you know, like one assignment. So she's like, oh, okay, it's okay, you can skip it. But when I told her, I literally, I literally turned in my assignment 10 minutes late and I was like I'm sorry like you know like the day before my grandma like passed away like I was going through stuff and then she's like okay like I'm sorry for your loss but I'm still deducting 50 points I said okay. what okay okay she was deducting 50 points I for being I, 10 I did, minutes I late her again like I'm I didn't care like it was just okay like, that's care. actually kind of crazy because it's like you pick and choose who you want to you know excuse and it's like okay that's when I was done I'm gonna get off on her too. Fifty points for ten minutes is wild. I even went to the, I even went to like the dean. I was like, I'm done. Like, please get her before I do. No. I feel like if she were to if she were to to give that same energy to everybody and like just stand on her guns, like yeah, I would be like, well, you like, did turn it in late. But it's it's the fact that like you picking and choosing and then like 15, 50 points for ten minutes is ten really, like, minutes. It was literally ten minutes. Like it will do it night. I put it in nine ten. Like please, like not that serious. Yeah, that's kind of wild. And then she had went up to our parents at, at like when our, at our graduation because she was like, I never want to put your guys's kids in this much pain. Like shut up, like shut up. It's over. Pain. What? Like it's graduation. Like we're done. Like it doesn't even matter. Uh, I have some daughter product on. I'm just a mess. <laughs> My life is over. I'm in shambles. Okay. Let me pull it together. Jeez. Well, you can't play music on here because they do copyright. Yeah. Oh. Why? Are you bored? You need no. music? I was trying to figure out why you couldn't put uh, music. Um, yes, yeah, copyright, but TikTok they count it as as a uh, streams for like the artist, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter over there. I just feel like oh, why cool. I want to play music, but it's nice. Uh, it's nice. It's nice to get a little break and just you know to talk to my client. Yeah, because it's you. If it was somebody <laughs> who don't talk, baby, we'd be watching Netflix. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it's nice to have the quiet. It's not that bad. I'm just kind of used to jamming out you know mm -hmm. so it does kind of suck but what artists do you listen to the most um i feel like i listen to a good mix of r&b okay. but i do listen to a lot of SZA. i listen lately i've been listening to a lot of frank ocean again mm -hmm. that's what i was playing before we went live i know i had her <laughs> you like frank ocean or no mm -hmm. oh, okay he's really peaceful i was just watching this um movie it wasn't necessarily like based on him but it kind of had like like something to do with him i guess or something like that mm -hmm. and it was called it was like called ways but it was like it was so much like it was actually a really really good movie mm. he was in it no but it was kind of like a person who like you know like looked like him like you know like the blonde hair and stuff oh. like short blonde hair what's that on um amazon prime oh, okay Might have to check that out. I've been trying to uh, watch some new stuff. Y'all about to binge watch Good Girls again today? Oh yeah, I, I, I binge watched that like two times. Yeah, the whole all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Nah, I watched it. Well, I watched the first couple seasons hell of times. Cause I'm the type of person like if I like a show and I'll put somebody else on it and I'll like watch it again. You yeah. know. So I was like heck of watching it. Yeah, we're doing this kind of quick, huh? Yeah. Y'all, and I'm actually, actually, I'm braiding all the way down to the end, so it's not even like I got to go back, which is cool. I'm rocking with that. Oh, shoot, my back hurts. Y'all, my back has been killing me, and I really honestly think it is from that C-section, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm being dramatic, but I really feel like it is from getting the C-section. I have to get a spinal tap and that just took me out. Get off of me. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, what's the last concert you went to? But it was SZA, huh? It, oh no, you went to Future. Future. Yeah. 
I'm about to go to Drake's though, so. Are you? You got tickets? Yes. I'm very excited because you be living your best life. No, but seriously, like if like all like things aside, like that's my favorite artist. Like if I didn't go to his concert, like y'all would have never heard from me again. Like I probably would have ran away because that's serious. Where would you run to? Or I would have snuck in. Like I would have gotten somehow. Girl, you would have been in jail, baby. <laughs> and Julie, right where the rest, the rest Bye, of your uh, because <laughs> your fifty friends. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Breaking in is crazy. No, yeah, I can't wait to see him, though. Like, that's... Because that's honestly, like, that really took off, like, my list, basically. Is like, it him and 21 Savage? Yeah. Okay, it's for that new album? Mm-hmm. The 21 King but, but no, it's called All the Blur, so it's like an Eras... It's like an Eras tour, honestly. His set oh, list like, is really, all of like... It? Yeah. How do you know his set list? He posted it. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. Wait, do they be doing that? Yeah, hold on. Or he just did it. Go back. That's crazy. Got a really good set list though. Like honestly, like that's pretty good for him to be with Twenty One Savage. So yeah, I feel like that's gonna be good. Hey Donald, why Snatchers in here? <laughs> Donald, um, Linda said you was cracking her up during the battle. She said you was cracking her up. She said I was watching the battle. I watched both of them. That's so funny. Well, the king, the champion, Donald is in here. And Donald, if you've seen, I released the second battle on YouTube and. um are you been reading my little notifications? People have been commenting talking about Dino won. They didn't even watch the whole six hour video talking about you won. <laughs> Why they being fake? I'm gonna say this. Y'all, it was like six hours. He said I was mad as fuck. I'm weak. Donald, you be just cracking me up. I don't know why. Like, I just love seeing you triggered. It's just tickling because it's just the stuff that be coming out your mouth just be so funny to me it's so bad but it's just like i'd be so tickled low-key like it just be funny and then he'd be like no brie it's not funny but it is though it's hilarious i can't stop laughing y'all mm, I don't like being like that. Like, I would really hurt somebody being like that. That's why I don't like you to read the fake comments. Donald, first of all, the first the first battle, I was reading fake comments, but they were good. I wasn't reading any fake bad comments. Any comment that I read that was negative, it really was what it, what it was. But I just want to say, like, y'all, it is really not easy to, like, battle and have people critique your work, especially in the moment, especially when you're trying. Like, if somebody was standing right here and pointing out how crooked my parts were and stuff like that like it's just kind of hard to work under those circumstances so I do understand people getting offended or taking stuff personally but at the end of the day it is a battle so it's like I'm gonna read it because you signed up to do this so like it is what it is but I didn't read some of the bad some of the bad stuff because some mm -hmm. some of that stuff I said oh yeah no I'm not even gonna play I'm not even gonna play around yeah I'm not yeah, no stop. Seriously, I didn't come to. That's why he had his earbuds in for the second one. Yeah, that's why he did. He said he didn't want to hear nothing y'all had to say. But I'm proud of him. That's gross. Should yeah. he put his earbuds in? He was dead to the world. Yo, separating this curly hair is actually hella annoying. I started to do it yesterday, but I didn't do it enough. But basically, what I'm doing is cutting it off the weft like this. Let me get a little bit more than that because that's not a lot. I was cutting the weft while I was still curled up, so. Penna, 
I had three C-sections, 2008, 2011, 2016, oh baby boogie, I'm having a uh, two as well. My next kid, I don't think I just, y'all, in order for me to do something, I have to envision myself doing it, and I just do not see myself pushing no kid out of my woo-ha. It's just, I don't think it's in the cards for me. My whole pregnancy, I was thinking about how that was going to happen, and it didn't, so, okay. Then I'm going to take the comb. And I'm going to come out the top like this because you get all the little flyaways and stuff. And like I said, y'all, these aren't hella good bundles. So, so y'all see all this? This is like non-usable hair. All the little short straggly pieces. Okay. So after I do that... I'm gonna take the top and I'll section it out in little pieces like that y'all see and I'm gonna take a little bit of my product and just rub it on there like that and then I'll separate that and lay it on the tray so I'm just keep doing that and y'all I'm putting about four maybe five pieces in each one but they kind of like thin out a little bit, so it's not like super, super full. But I do want to try to use that full bundle. So she'll have one bundle of hair in her head. Mm -hmm. She was Homer. I was Homer last year. TikTok only watch with comments, so I can tap for like. Yeah, on this one you gotta close the uh what's it called? You gotta close the chat and like the live. Yeah. Y'all don't know what I'm gonna be for Halloween this year because I feel like I came hard last year and people are gonna be like, I wonder what you're gonna be. So I feel like I need to start thinking now. And then it's also like I gotta do something where I can incorporate Kai, you know? So Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna be for real. Yeah. Best gel for these. I just got these installed and the gel is already flaking bad. What gel did you use? Mm -mm -mm -mm. The baby's first Halloween yet is. I gotta do a big. I gotta do a big for him. No, you definitely did your big one with the, with the Hummer costume. It's been almost one year and people still bring it up. No, for real. It just was hella funny, y'all. And I think what made it funnier is that it was like a crackhead version. Because like, I feel like if it was perfect, I don't know that it would have been as funny. But I think it just was hella funny because like there were also imperfections, you know? Yeah. Where it's like, girl, you look a mess. But like it's just hella funny because it's like you kind of look like him. But just you look a mess. And then y'all came to the salon. I was working. <laughs> I was working. It was funny. Christian, everything okay over there? See, are you be killing me with that? That was a question, by the way. And she used the even edge control. Oh, yeah, I would never use. Uh, well, I can't say I would never use edge control because I use one. But my combination, I use my edge control at the root, the Dove Collection. And I use lock and twist to break down. And it doesn't flake. It doesn't uh, flake. If you don't want to use that, I would just say maybe like lock and twist gel or lock in. But yeah, you got to be careful with um, certain edge controls because, you know, they be turning flaky. They be turning white. You got to really, um, you got to really be careful. Yeah. Right, y'all, let's get back to the braiding. So I'm going to have to stop and do that a couple times, y'all, because I didn't prep. So, no, you did your thing. No, that shit was hella funny, y'all. Like, it was hella funny. And honestly, I don't really do Halloween. Like, I'm always a last-minute person. So it was just hella funny the way that I came up with that at the last minute. But I was so embarrassed when I had to walk into the salon because I'm like, oh, my God, people are going to see me and be like, what? They were probably like, oh, she took Halloween ser real serious. <laughs> real serious. Because I did psoriasis hair that day. I know. I remember that TikTok. 
Yeah, that shit was hella funny. Which was crazy because I feel like hella people were The Simpsons that year. I know Cardi B had did it. Oh, yeah. This uh, one, I think, not Miracle Watts. Like this one, some influencer had did it too. They were like the whole family. So it's kind of like, I don't want to do that next year because it's just like, mm. and I don't got enough people to make it the whole family. But I don't know what I'm going to be. I guess I'm going to have to look it up and start doing some research now. Yeah, ahead of time. You like having Halloween around your birthday time? I mean, yeah. Does that don't really make a difference? No, not really. Yeah. I'll never forget when one year I chose to stay out here for my birthday because... I didn't want to miss Halloween. Opposed to going to Jamaica. Where? Oh. What? And my family went to Jamaica without me. What? Yeah. It was stupid. So who did you stay I with? I was really... No, my mom My mom stayed with me. She was mad, though, like, because she was like, okay. Why would she even let you choose? No, literally. She really shouldn't have. How old were you? I was, I was turning 10. You didn't so want to go to I Jamaica? Like, <sighs> Lizzo did it. Lizzo did it. I said it first up. Terry, you so fake and stop trying to get a, a reaction out of Wife Snatcher. <laughs> I like the haunted house. Scare me. Oh, I love haunted houses. I love haunted houses. I like to be scared, but then it's also like you're doing too much. Like, don't scare me. Yeah. But I, I like it, though. Maybe I should do a haunted house vlog, huh? You should. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do hate, though? I hate when I go with people and they be, like, acting like they hella hard. It's like, bro, you're not fun. Like scream and be scared you right. know when they be walking through like this shit ain't even scary they fake they fake like no bruh that's the people the ones you really gotta assault so they don't think it's fake no more yeah my birthday is november 1st so i usually dress up and attend the halloween festivities okay so you're trying to get a free party out of me okay thanks i love oakland hopefully i can look with you one day yeah hopefully 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 girl that's really close but yeah I like the ones where the people be hauling ass at the end of the hunting house. Donald, go with me. Would you go? Actually, no, Donald. You don't like insult the funny. people. Yeah. Now, Bri, I don't like nobody jumping in my face. Yeah, let's take Donald. I feel like you wouldn't even be scared for real, though. You got to go to the ones where they like, they walking around, but they also be popping out. Because it's the pop out that'll get you, you know? Mm -hmm. If I just see you, I might not be scared with you. You pop out at me? Oh, baby. But come on, Donald. Let me take you to a haunted house. Okay, you would. Okay, per. I'm not talking about no, uh, I'm not talking about no marine world. I want to go to a horror house. Extreme. Extremely. We should find the scariest hunted house in the world, and we should go. Oh, my gosh. It would have to be in a cemetery. Would you still go? No. You wouldn't go to a haunted house in a cemetery? No. Why? That's you scary? Not, yes. Not yes. That's on a different level. Like, would you do it, Donald? How many of y'all would do that? A haunted house in a cemetery? That's actually lit. I might actually host that. What? Mm -hmm. One of work at uh work at the grave site. This spirit's about to come back. Oh Oh my god, you scary. I'm sorry. We talking about haunted houses, Troy? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yes. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Ooh. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, no, I'm like, 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 did someone just leave that you finished? No. Oh, I just saw someone. Oh no, oh, it's probably uh a couple doors now. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. No, mm -mm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see you No, time. okay. Um, yeah. Um Maybe like in a week or two. Okay, yes, yeah, because yeah, I go out of town not this Thursday, next Thursday. Okay. And then I'm gone for three weeks. Okay, I'm about to clean up my suite and then I'll let you know if I need Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's okay. good. So I'll just check on you before I bounce. Okay, for sure, for sure. Cool. All right, thank All right, you. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. Look at my arms, y'all. I had goosebumps. Oh, y'all can't tell. That scared the fucking shit out of me. Yeah, that scared the shit out of you? Did I scream? I'm a weak bitch. Damn, I can't go to the haunted house. No, literally, like. <sighs> that was hella scary. Mm, I look at you scared already. Let me see. Hmm. I don't be scared, but it'd be fine. I'd be laughing at people that get scared. Yes, I would. Oh, he would. Wait, no, no, no. Donald, would you go to a haunted house that was on a cemetery? Oh, my God. Troy scared the hell out of me. Mm, 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 mm. 
We don't care about y'all cancers. Y'all season is over. Oh, wait, no, it's not. My mom's birthday is today. Girl, you might want to skip the honey house. <laughs> Tyree just be flirting with Donald. That's usually how the young relationship. No, for Torsha, you be peeping it. It's oh, giving a uh, Hey Arnold, Helga and uh, Olga. Wait, Olga and Arnold. What's her name? Yeah. Helga or or Olga? It's Helga. Huh? I think yeah, it's Helga. Yeah, you just picking out him. You just picking on him because you like him, Tyree. And we be on Facetime together, and sometimes they. Be, Never mind. Let me give you not too much. Let me be quiet. Mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> do you style any clients with alopecia i do have clients who have alopecia but it's not um extreme like they might have a couple plugs but i've never really done like full full um bald but yeah i think it's giving tyree like donald too because he stay trying to get a reaction out of him like mm. yeah happy birthday to all the cancers Today's my mom's birthday. In three days is China and Toya's birthday. And then it's my uh, daddy's birthday. Oh, I got it. Let me text China, Toya right now. Let me text her. Toya, I'm going to say. Damn, was that the right Toya? Okay, yeah. I gotta get Toya in. You look so familiar. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was hella delusional. I don't see it at all. But then again, I don't know y'all's people's relationship. What you talking about? She Tyrion delusional. Oh, Tyree and Watch sure No. It's definitely... It's giving that, y'all, for real. Because Tyree just be trying to get a reaction out of him so bad. It's giving you like him. Like, even when we sit on the phone, he just be, you know. And then Donald, he like a hood dude from Oakland. Tyree be having his nails done. So it just makes sense. Like, Bye. it's just giving that. But anyway, now nah, I'm a bully. You really are, Tyree. Mm. You really are. I'll be on the phone with Tyree. I'll say something like, my life is over. And he'd be like, see you later, friend. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> You're not even going to talk me off my rocker? That's hella funny. But yeah, anyways, I'll be working behind the scenes to make that a thing for y'all. Keep y'all updated on the next live. Just make sure y'all ask about it. Mm. Moving right along, we couldn't be together because I will fuck him up behind his mouth. <laughs> well, apparently he fights back, so you might like him, Donald. Y'all could be like Krishan and Blueface. Mm -hmm. Crazy in love. Oh, and y'all might get your own show. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Now I just got some new cologne. You finna bust him over the head with the bottle. What does it smell like? Different people be liking different colognes. I hate like musty smelling stuff. I just don't see it. And they live hella far away from each other. Long distance love, Sierra. Stop being blind. You're not SZA. That's the best love making <laughs> afterwards. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. Uh. It could be like 90 Day Fiance. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe, oh my God. Should I make a video and set them up on a blind date? Yeah. For the love of Donald. Donald was saying he was looking for a companion. Where does Tari live? Alabama. Oh, dang. Yeah, he in the country. Alabama. <laughs> For the love of Donald, let me stop before they cuss me out. Right, Torsha, Torsha. I'm trying to refrain from speaking my mind. <laughs> Wait, are DDG and Holly still together? Honestly, I have seen like a breakup rumor, but I feel like they're not broken up. They probably are, to be honest. They're so cute. I feel like she hella loves him. I know she hella loves him, y'all. 
they're cute, but people be hating on DDG, and I just don't see why. I just don't see why. Tyree, what you say? Go ahead and cook. I'm weak. No pan and both of them. No pan and both of them slick mouths. No, for real. They are both a mess. They are both a mess. I feel like that would be a good video, though. Them on a blind date? Mm -hmm. That would be hella funny. Tyree, I'm from Bama, too, so I'm peeking. So I'm picking up your vibes. I'm trying to be a better person. Tyree. <laughs> Where's PJ at? Is PJ LG didn't think you? Or is he straight? I'm just curious. These look good, London. <laughs> I'm feeling these. Let me see if I can dip this in in hot water. Donald said the thing about me is I have a slick mouth, but I like to fight. Okay, and how do you know Tyree? Did? Tyree, you definitely can't fight because I've seen your nails before. Mm -mm. We'll be the person you were last week and let it fly. Sierra, stop being messy. He's trying to change. Stop trying to take him back to his old ways. Kai is doing really good, y'all. So yesterday, well, he's been having a cough. Um, he's been having a cough. And then also he's teething really bad. So um, we've been giving him cough syrup just to like monitor it. Because it almost sounds like he has hella phlegm in his throat, but it also be sounding like he's choking on spit. So, we just been kind of monitoring it. We called the advice nurse yesterday. He had a little moment. Um, and it's kind of hard for me because, you know, he's with his dad. And so, I don't know. That's, like, not a good feeling when your son is not feeling well and you're not physically there, you know? But other than that, he's doing pretty good. Dre's also doing really good. He's dropping a project today. Um, and yeah, he's just been chilling at the house with Kai and yeah, I feel like there's no other updates other than that. Yeah, everybody's doing fairly well. So Kai seemed to be feeling better when he left this morning and I kissed him goodbye and he seemed like he was okay, so. <sighs> His, when he's not feeling well or he's sick, his dad doesn't really do well with that. I think he, it like, it's like a combination of being scared and also, like, the fact that, like, Kai can't really say what's wrong, you know? I think I'm a lot more calm in those situations just because, like, I deal with Kai every day. So, he was a little flustered yesterday, but I think he got it together. And then our sink is not working at our house right now. I don't know what's wrong with it. The water won't come out the kitchen sink. So that's hella annoying because it's like the main sink. It's like, hello, we need to wash bottles and stuff. So Dre been dealing with that, but yeah. Yeah, he likes his new job. He likes his new job, y'all, but he really wants to be a rapper. So, mm hmm You be saying his dad like Dre and his father. What's the difference? Is there a difference between a dad and a father that I'm missing? I don't be saying nothing trying to be shady. I'm just saying like his dad. Oh, like Dre and his father. Oh, like saying, oh, okay. You mean like, instead of just saying like Dre? <laughs> is that what you mean? Oh, I think that is what you mean, yeah. Oh. Oh, I'll be like, his dad gets flustered instead of saying Dre gets flustered. Mm -hmm. Oh. I didn't even notice I'd be doing that. Dads are better. Hell, fathers could be, could just be donors. I think she mean, means because, like, I be talking like, yeah, I don't know why I do that. Like, y'all don't know him. I don't know. I just be talking, y'all. Some people might not know. What's up, Abigail? Welcome to the party. Better late than never. Never late is better. I'll be late to everything. Be on time? Depends. I don't be late to the salon, but other things, <laughs> like parties, oh, my God. I'll be hella late and not even fashionably late. I just be late. <laughs> you are so familiar. So, this is your last little summer style. Your mom's not trying to let you get the half up, have y'all? She don't want to buy no bundles, huh? Yeah, she doesn't want to buy no bundles. Girl, that's but the theme. Um, we were talking to this girl because 
my um my friend's mom has like a boutique so she be having like always have a different people coming in her store or whatever mm -hmm. so it's this it's one of her friends who sells like really good bundles and she's all like you should go get some bundles from her because like you just gotta tell like the like the um person who's doing it like don't cut the bundles and you can have the bundles for a minute and so she's like okay i'll look into it so we're gonna hope so because i really want to have to tap down how much are they i have no clue you know how bundles be heck expensive like, i know that's why i thought she doesn't want to buy them yeah but it's like y'all could both share them does she wear weaves herself or no no mm. she's a brave gal mm. If she does have a weave, then it'll be a bob. So. But she only got that when she went to a wedding. So it's like. Mm, she had a ball? Or she had a bob? <laughs> I don't even know. I, I mean, it could move. So, I mean, I guess. Oh, she had a bowl. <laughs> okay. Got to ask. Got to be sure. What y'all talking about? Hey, Mrs. Bailey. Oh, do you need to see here too? What's up, Pookie? What's up, Pookie Dukes? Y'all happy I'm back on YouTube or what? Or what? Or what? Or what? Mm hmm. These are giving. Abby Inquiring Minds want to know. Mm hmm. <laughs> she was at Essence Festival living her best life. <laughs> I've seen your pictures and videos and everything. I said, okay, Abigail. Anybody in here be going to the Browner Brothers shows? Because I know y'all from the South. Just finished watching the battle. I loved it. Oh, my God. I'm going to do another battle, y'all. Because they're just so much fun. They're just so much fun. I'm going to do it again. But no more Donald because he be cussing too many people out. He's a liability. <laughs> and I think Monique done with battling, too. So we had to do small knotless yesterday. She was like, baby, my back was hurting. But I told her, I'm like, you did three, like, you braided three days in a row. Like, as if you were a full-time braider. Y'all know, she don't really be braiding like that. But the first two battles, they did it back-to-back, -back, I think. Wasn't it back-to-back -back days, or am I tripping? Yeah, I think so. I feel like it was back-to-back -back days. So I'm like, girl, you've been braiding for, like, the past three days straight. And on your feet. And it's hard to braid in my house because there's no, like, anti-fatigue mats, nothing. You on that hard floor. Chairs ain't right. So, yeah, I think Monique is tapped out. But we're going to get some other braiders in here. Yeah. They say next battle will be fair this time. Who said that? Abigail. Oh, Abigail, Monique just be playing with you. I feel like you could definitely have your people that you're rooting for. Yeah. Yeah, it's the difference between braiding down and braiding a whole head. There really is. It's going to be in Atlanta in February. Hit me if you come, Panna. Oh, I'm definitely going. I'm 100% will be there. So, oh my God, I'm going to get to see some of y'all. Y'all going to be scared or y'all going to come up to me? Because it's like, I don't know what y'all look like. Y'all only know what I look like. Or y'all going to be like, that's her, y'all. I'm going to lose some weight too by then. So, I might actually be looking different. No, never mind. Fuck that. Robert F. Kennedy's son is running for president next year. The Kennedys have a very bad curse over the family over the years. Girl, I thought she really meant it when you were live on TikTok. Oh, no, she was just kidding, girl. She was joking. I saw her. I asked her. And she was like, no, I fuck with Abby. She just was rooted for Donald. <laughs> you was rooted for him hard, Abby. Yeah. I meant to say is that what if she saw the comments after the live was saved and she possibly felt a certain way Wait, who? no 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 i think they're talking about my cousin mo oh because after the live was saved like people can comment on there i don't think she really felt i really honestly don't think she really felt a certain type of way because i feel like she would tell me yeah y'all prank on the money was crazy it really was actually was so funny though like i really wish i would have turned the phone the long way like how uh like how um it is on YouTube, so y'all could have seen her because when she started yelling, she got hella fired up. She was like, no! Like, she was hella fired up, but you can't really see it. You can only see when she came in the camera. She turned hella red. I was like, oh, yeah, we got her ass. Mm -mm -mm. And they was acting hecka good. I thought for sure we was going to get banned, didn't you? Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, like, what? Maybe TikTok knew it was a prank. 
but it was so funny. And first of all, I didn't even go how it was supposed to go. I wasn't even ready yet. Mm -hmm. That was so funny. That was so funny. After finished watching it, it stopped when I saw Panda was live. Oh, purr. Oh, purr, purr, purr. Y'all forgot I was going live or I would have dropped it later today. But y'all can always go back and watch it. It's really long, so it's going to take y'all a couple days because it's six hours. Six hours of pure entertainment. Y'all be liking when the lives be longer. Y'all be like, oh, girl, you doing too much. I was literally up watching it. Like, I have my computer, and I was like, so I would, like, fall asleep and wake back up, and I would still be on it. And I was just <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. You was like, they still going? Yes. That's how I was feeling. Oh, my God. I was thinking that in my head. I was like, man, I want to act like the live freezes and just act like my phone died and do a couple rows for them. Because, mm -hmm. oh, my God, it just felt like forever. Even though, like I said, it's not like they were moving hella slow, because it only took them for real six hours. And think about us actually stopping and you know what you say exactly i saw on tiktok no it was when she got you no that was not for me i didn't do end up doing Bree's hair yesterday she never came and so i just left like i don't be playing with Bree. Bree be outside do y'all follow her on instagram because i'll be like girl you're living your best life and i feel like a mother like i want to just like throw a towel over you and make you go inside the house and sit down but she was living her best life i'm happy for her but it's just like you're not grown but you are though but you're not to <laughs> donna said we were stopping this and all shit no for real but donna yours were hella long so six hours like to do that is actually not bad yeah the breathe be everywhere y'all she be living her best life she really do why you don't follow Brie on social media, Sierra? I watch your videos all the time at bedtime on that work now. Okay, period, lovely R. Thank you so much for the views. I feel like I always say I would never watch no video that long, but then, like, sometimes I put it on, like, when I'm cleaning, I'd be like, you know, somebody will leave a yeah. comment and be like, that was hella funny. And I'd be like, what was hella funny? And I put it on, I'm like, hmm, we do be kind of interesting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Or I'd be listening to stories like, y'all sick. It's kind of like, do you ever look at your Instagram and you like, or like look at your TikTok and you like, I wonder what people see when they come in. Though, yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. It's like, why do people want to see this? And then I watch it and be like, mm, I guess we are kind of funny. <laughs> or somebody commented on my, um, on one of my lives the other day and was like, I would never watch a three hour video, but I had to see why it had so many views. And they were like, oh, y'all be hella funny. She was like, you be talking to the people in the chat like you know them. And it's like, I do know them. That's the crazy thing. Yeah. It's like, I don't know y'all, but I feel like I know y'all, though. It's like, y'all are my friends now. It's like, we're, it's like we're a big high school. Ain't that what it feel like? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I even be talking to some of y'all outside of this, like, in the real world. That's crazy. Y'all are my friends. We go together now real bad. We're stuck. You're here. How y'all watching but not liking? It's 178 people and 142 likes. That's actually not that bad. But the 30 of y'all who didn't like it, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to have Donald do the, his big one on y'all as soon as I find out. Nah, I'm gonna have Donald sick him. Donald, if you seen somebody slap the shit out of me and I fell to the ground and I was like, I'm scared, I'm scared to fight. Would you fight for me? No, he'll be like, now nah, Bree, you deserve to get slapped. All that shit you was talking. You better get up and fight. I'm not gonna fight for you. And you looking like a fool. You got me out here looking stupid. That's probably what he gonna say. What would you do? We are cousins. Is it Mrs. Bailey or Miss? Mrs. Bailey. Okay, not you married for me too. <laughs> we hella close now. Mm -hmm. You would fight for me all, D. Okay, I'm gonna go pick a fight with I am Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me get my cousin, Donald. Would you be hella mad? Don't make me get my cousin, Donald. And you pulled up and it was I am Jonathan. 
<laughs> Did you ever think you would blow up like this on YouTube? Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. No, not really, because, like, to be honest, I didn't really have no plans. Like, I kind of was making a video. I guess maybe in the back of my head I knew I could have, but, like, I don't really know. I don't think I really had no major goals for real. I just was like, oh, I'm going to make a YouTube channel and just see. And then one year I was really actually putting in work. I was like, oh, I'm going to be. I went to a hair show. This is the type of shit I be doing, y'all. I went to a hair show with Paul Mitchell, right? And I walked in, you know, at this time, I probably had like maybe 100,000 subscribers or something. I don't know. This was back when I was in high school, maybe 130,000. And I was like, oh, like I walked in there and like nobody knew me. Right. I'm like, damn, bitch. Like ain't nobody finna be like, oh, I know you from YouTube or nothing. Right. Which makes sense because Paul Mitchell's like color cutting. Like, you know, I'll be braiding. Then people was not watching no braid videos. But I told myself, I was like, you know what? The next time I go to a hair show. I'm gonna be so big that like everybody's gonna know who I am and then that year I went hella hard on YouTube so yeah but I never thought I don't even think I'm hella big I just think like I, a lot of people know my channel but I don't I don't really consider myself like hella big or nothing like that but yeah so the answer is yes and no like I kind of had goals but I don't know still don't even know what I want to do for the rest of my life you know what you want to do yet I want to be a lawyer a lawyer okay period I might need you to get me out of some <laughs> shit mm -hmm. oh my god because I've been having with these pri the prices of these products I've been thinking about smuggling um hair gel oh gosh so I might need your expertise you might need to get me out of some sticky situations okay what would y'all do if y'all see me? I got 20 years in jail for stealing cases of Shining Jam. I'm like, oh my God. Like, is this really my favorite? Like, what? <laughs> would you commit a crime so you could come in here and get your hair done? Yeah. Wow, you loyal like that? <laughs> You'll commit a crime just to come get slayed by Panna one more again? I'm like, if she get some parole or something, like, come on. I'm weak. Not because she get parole. <laughs> Look, free my braider. Would y'all protest outside? Yes. She did the wrong. Free panda place. till it's backwards for real. Now she didn't do nothing so wrong. Cut the prices. When you can see him sticking out my pocket. <laughs> Don't tell him cut the prices. That's my type. They said I'll be like, be so fucking for real. <laughs> no, I can't do jail, y'all. I watch a lot of prison shows, and this just I'm just like it's not flash. No. First of all, I don't like being hella cold. And also, I like, I just got to sleep comfortably. I think that's the biggest thing for me. And food. I'm too bougie to live like that. The food? Oh, it's the God. food. Yeah, it's the food. If they, ha if I could get, if I could order whatever type of food I want, then I could do it. Because actually, I could go to sleep uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, because when I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. But it's the food. Like, I can't get no Mediterranean food. Like, damn, can I get some, I just need something. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's the food for me. It's the food for me. Yeah. No, for real, Juju. I could wear it. And... See, Abby? Here you go. With your side conversation. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here you go, Abigail, with your side conversation. We're going to have her protest. She didn't do it right. I was thinking about that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, Cat Williams, that stand up, oh my god, his best stand up when he was like, What the fuck did he do? Murder, murder, hey, I knew him for two fucking weeks. He wouldn't do something like that. Oh my god. Somebody just commented, Donald is very focused. You go, Donald. Uh uh. <laughs> brave battle, brave battle. Hey, so y'all think Monique would have won the battle if her sister wouldn't have did that no part shit? Oh, her sister did a no part? Yeah. That's weird, huh? Yeah. No part is crazy. I don't even know how a no part even looks. Like Exactly, because nobody gets that. That's kind of... Mm. It's just different. Because I feel like with a, with a male part, like, you could be versatile. Like, you know, like, it'll still look good. Mm-hmm. That's what I feel like, too. But she said no part, y'all. 
her sister sabotaged her. She didn't really sabotage her, but I feel like asking somebody for no part in your braids is just like, I don't know, personally, I don't do that. So like, it's just harder for me, but maybe that is a thing. Maybe y'all go get that done. It just was not given. Heck no, barely have YouTube. You still can, Valerie. You have Instagram? Mm -hmm. Not paying out. I was talking about when I get paid this Friday, I want to order the Dove Collection shirt and hoodie. Oh, oh hey, friend. <laughs> have your conversation. <laughs> yeah, what was, what was it? <laughs> Keep talking, Abigail. <laughs> Keep a talking, Bookie. Keep a talking, Bookie. I just did not prep today. My life is just in shambles. I gotta do better. I'm gonna be a new person starting tomorrow. That's really what you said the last time. Did I? I really yeah. mean it this time. I gotta change my ways because this shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to finish her hair by like 1, 2 o'clock. What time is it? 12 30. Mm. Well, actually, we only got three more rows. This is going kind of quick, huh? Mm-hmm. I keep eating the confirmation, y'all, because... Can you see the... You watching the live or no? Mm-hmm. Can you see the curly hair? Yeah. You can? Wait, like, what do you mean? Like, does it look like a lot? Yeah. Let me see it. Oops. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Oops. Damn. Why isn't it playing? Oh, there you go. Okay, it does. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to see how it looks for y'all. They said, do you have any more clients? Yeah, so today, after this, I actually have two more clients. I'm trying to get Megan, too. Megan. So maybe three. But, yeah, we'll see. Well, they just got back from LA, later. I don't know if the mom was. Mm -hmm. but... Yeah, she did. She literally just got back today, so. I'm in Vegas. Mm-hmm. I think Megan wants some of these, too, y'all. Yeah. Yes, Megan. Oh, Sierra, you like Megan, huh? Yep, and we will be on YouTube. Because I can't go anywhere else because of y'all favorite cousin mode. I don't mind, though, y'all. Sometimes I be needing a break. You ever feel like that, Lennon? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's like, it's good to have a break. I've been seeing some people and they be just on there all day, every day. Sometimes it's good to have a little break. And I like to come back to YouTube sometimes too. It's like my stomping grounds. I really need to be on YouTube every day. But actually, I've been doing a really good job, y'all, posting. I know my regular recorded videos don't get that many views anymore, which is why I just be wanting to go live. But I've been doing a really good job posting. When are you going to do a Timu haul? I'm tired of them, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't, I don't, didn't have no intentions on doing that, but I guess I can. I haven't braided making hair yet. Okay, Donald trying to pull up. That's what I'm hearing. I do not, wait, I do. Not that I don't enjoy the other conversations. I really enjoy Megan's viewpoints. Okay. Megan is a Virgo. Um, maybe I could see if, uh, I could squeeze her in. Maybe you could come help Donald. I just don't want to be here hella late. But I also don't want to come in here an extra day during the week. Because she's trying to come tomorrow. And after working these past two days, like, I just don't want to do that. I have to find somebody to watch my kid. I thought like you're going to be so busy in August because it's back to school. And they're going to get their hair braided. Yeah, those appointments are going to go quick. Yeah. What day of the week do you start school on? Monday. On a Monday? You know, sometimes they be starting on weird days. That's the only reason I'm asking. Well, no. I, I usually start on, like, Wednesdays and stuff, but it's, like, a whole new school, so it's, like, it's really different. Hey, D, I'm not doing all human hair. I am, right now I'm prepping um, the braiding hair, but the, the curls are actually human hair bundles. So, yes, I'm just making it really full. I'm going to have to be at the shop every day in August because you'll have 10 people back to back. Oh, Buki. And Will. When the trick is coming back together again, I miss the doo-doo-doos. 
Um, so China's birthday is coming up. I'm actually about to do her hair. I can see if Amani um Amani can um come for her. But yeah, I'm gonna do her hair. I can't remember what day I said, but it's on my calendar. It might be tomorrow or the day or Wednesday. Her birthday's Wednesday, so it's probably tomorrow. But yeah, Amani um she started nursing school, so she's working. I mean, she'll be at nursing school Monday through Thursday, I think. So yeah. Woo! I'm back. I'm gonna prep one more butterfly. So. Mm -hmm. I'm actually happy I braided them all the way down to the end because that means I don't got to stop. No more. Yes, once I'm done, I'm done. Let's see. Well, go ahead, Amani. Yeah, she's doing her big one. Now she better left cheek, right cheek. I'm so weak. Y'all don't even know if I can do it anymore. You know, when you be rapping like that, you got to exercise. You got to exercise your word play, your word, your brain. <laughs> You are a beast with this hair shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Your name is Day. Are you the one who asked earlier? I said D. I'm sorry, Buki. I was not trying to be funny. Y'all know my eyes barely work. But thank you so much. Y'all, we've been braiding for an hour. 60 was 120. We've been braiding for two hours. It's been one hour and 21 minutes. I'm kind of getting back to my regular speed. That makes me happy because I was tired of being a slow bitch. The ashtray. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Dang, I hear people stop in a row. That's so funny. Let me finish up the entire All right. Do you wear glasses? Oh, I wear contacts. And sometimes I'll be having my glasses on, but I feel like not when I'm at the salon because they're hella annoying. But I wear glasses at night, obviously, when I get home and take my contacts out. But I don't really like to wear my glasses because I wear eyelashes and so I can't wear my glasses all the way up on my nose. So it just slides down like bifocals and that's hella annoying. But yes, I have really bad eyesight, like hella bad. Like if you looked at my glasses, you would be like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> They're really bad. Yeah, and I've had bad eyes since I was younger, y'all. Real bad, real, real bad. Like when I take my contacts out, I can't, you know how the doctor be asking you to read the top line? I can't read yeah. that. Like it's real bad. It's real bad. So. You hear a phone or am I tripping? I'm tripping. Yeah. You ever be thinking you be hearing your phone though? Yeah. And you don't? That's like a funny. Wow, do I have a phone addiction y'all? Oh my God. You ever be thinking about that? I think. You think you could live without your phone for two months? Two months. Two months. Um, no phone? No iPad? Maybe. No, you can't. Yeah, I feel like maybe. I could. I did for a week, so. Oh, yeah, you didn't have no choice, huh? Yeah. After, like, the first day, were you like, oh, yeah, I'm going to need it? I mean, honestly, like, I think it wasn't that bad. Like, I feel like we kind of probably should, like, it was good for us to not have our phones. Like, we really got to, like, really pay attention to, like, the museums and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then I would, I would like, think I'll be like, dang, I wonder, like, what's on Instagram right now. Like, what I'm You would be thinking that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like I would just want it for the taking pictures. Like, yeah. I like to... So, if I do go out and do stuff, you want me to leave out extra edges or just swoop it? No, just swoop it. Okay. Um, I feel like I am... Um, when I, I go out and do stuff, I like to post on my story. So, yeah. that's the only thing where I'll be like... Or I'm one of them people, like, who I post the food before I eat it. Mm -hmm. So, it's just like, you just want me to eat. Like, that's weird. No, yeah. I would, like, I would like take my teacher's phones to, like, take pictures and stuff because, like, I really... Cause what did they expect you to have the, the little disposable cameras? They want us to have like they said we could bring cameras, but I already had like a, I have an actual camera, so I just uh, brought that. So it wasn't as bad. I still I still took really good pictures, but it's but like, it's like a digital camera. No, well, it's yeah, one you have yeah, to get yeah. it developed, or it's like oh yeah, it is a digital camera. Yeah, like you plug it into the computer mm -hmm. and get the yeah. But then I would still take some on the iPhone because I feel like sometimes like I want like an iPhone picture, like I don't want a camera picture. Yeah. The iPhone cameras be going crazy. Yeah. The camera cam cameras be going crazy, but the iPhone cameras still be going crazy. Okay. All right, y'all. It's hard right now, y'all, because I got two trays. They couldn't have, they couldn't have had y'all leave your phones in the room not having them at all. It's crazy. I would have stayed home and missed that experience, to be honest. <laughs> Girl, we haven't talked about this all before she went. No, literally. I think it's kind of crazy, too, just because my kid is in another state and I yeah. wouldn't be able to access my child immediately. But I guess they weren't budging. They must do it like that every year. No, yeah, they, they've been doing this for like 30 years. So, mm -hmm. they were, so my mom like, my mom was just like, um if you know like they've been doing this for like that long and like nothing you know has like really happened like i feel like it'll be fine because it's like you've been with people since kindergarten so it's like it's a like oh you went to one of those k through eight schools yeah yeah that's hella annoying i know i was with them for a long time are all your best friends from there mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah i just yeah i just feel like as a parent i would have a little bit of anxiety but I call my mom every day though. Yeah. But still, it's like waiting for a prison call. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Sierra, how old are your kids? I be forgetting you have kids. I don't know why I be thinking you like 21. It's like you're an adult for real. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Sorry, I got y'all real close because I just can't see that far. Unless y'all want me to scoot y'all back, I will. But it's nice to get some different angles. Now, Penny, you know I'm a pet mom and I'm 30. Bitch, you stay talking like you got. I'm so sick of you. I'm so sick of you. I'm literally so sick of you. I'm over here thinking you got kids. I'm so weak. Not a damn pet mom. How many dogs you got, Sierra? I'm sick of you. <laughs> Not I'm a pet mom. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. Tarisha, what you doing today? I'm so weak. It's the pet mom for me. And you 30, mm, you up there with your knees finna get to squeaking and cracking. I thought you was 21. I'm sadly mistaken, book. Child, only one little baby. What you got? A little cash? A little chi chi? Little chihuahua? You 32, Mrs. Bailey? Okay, you 30. You 30 and you married? You got kids? Or did you just put Mrs. but you're not really married? Some people just be, it's Mrs. Mm. Nothing, I'm finna go to sleep. You need to do better. Knees been cracking and squeaking. I'm weak. You was on your meds. I was in your 20s. Ain't gonna lie, I miss cash. I miss cash too. Abigail, don't do that. But I showed Potato earlier. After I post this live, you can see pictures of him. He's doing okay. He's doing okay. He was hanging out with hamburger and taco. Sasha is most definitely a cash, but she's mixed with Pomeranian. Oh, so she cute, cute. 
Not Sasha Fierce. I hate when people be giving uh, they dogs real people names. Mm -hmm. That'll show me some girl talk about her dog's name is Raekwon. That's hella what? ghetto. Raekwon. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure that was Donald who showed me that. <clears throat> or told me. He didn't show, show me. Not Potato. That's his name, y'all. I got to start addressing him as such. I have to let go. His name is no longer Cash. And you guys need to let go as well. <laughs> I'm so weak. I'm I'm really assuming that she really calls him that y'all because every time she messages me, she says potato. Why would you just be saying that if it's not, you know, what you calling him for real? Don't you think, London? Yeah. Like, why would you keep saying that? That dog's name is potato. No, for real. Potatoes is just potatoes are hella ugly. And sometimes they have trees growing out of them. So it's like, why would you... That's not even a cute name. Like, call him, like, Marshmallow. Yeah. Call him, like, Cookie. You're calling him a potato. It's just giving, like, dry, oblong, <laughs> musty. Like, it's just not cute. I think that's what's making me upset. Yeah. Wait, congratulations, what happened? I've been with my kid's father since I was 14. I'm 30, we have three daughters and one on the way. Oh, congratulations! That's what's up. Three daughters and one on the way? What is your one on the way? It's a daughter too, because that's crazy. Four girls in the house, they about to be fighting. I can't come to terms with potato, me either. Like, it's just, it's hard to accept. Especially just knowing the way he acts is just not giving potato. Like, that's <laughs> what makes it even harder. It's just, it's not giving that. It's not. But, you know, all I really care, y'all, is that he's being well taken care of. And it looks like he is. Even though I feel like she hella extra with all the clothes and tucking them in the bed. And, you know, I feel like it's just... He don't look as sad as he looked on the first day. Wifey Ash is not down with that name. She is going off. No, for real. Thanks, y'all. And I'm having the gender reveal. My husband wants a boy at this point. No, on oh God. I want a boy for y'all, too. Boys are just amazing. Boys are just amazing. My thing is, like, even if you did change his name to Potato, it's like, you know that that's my dog and I miss my dog and I named him Cash. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why are you saying it to me? Like, you know, yeah. when you're talking to me, address him as Cash. Don't be like, potato, potato. Girl, you know I don't like that name. I'm ghetto. Like, it's irritating. Shoot. And it's like she keeps saying it. Here's potato. Penny, you need a girl this time. Oof. You just made me, ooh, my stomach hurt and I got to throw up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I feel like a girl would definitely um, soften me up, though. I would have to, definitely have to change my ways because I can't be farting and, farting and burping. Oh, my gosh. Like what? With a girl? No. I would have to be more feminine. I would have to, like, fold clothes and put them at the edge of the bed and pat them before I put them in the hall closet. I would have to, like... Go get nails and feet done all the time. Get my eyebrows done. <laughs> take showers. It's just, yeah. I don't know that I'm ready for all that. Yeah, no. It's not giving. Then I got to teach her how to cook, so that means I got to expand. No. <laughs> no. Like, what? He said, nope, be you, baby. So you want me to raise a stinking ass girl? <laughs> Just kidding, y'all. Take showers. Take showers is crazy. I hope Cash still bites for each and every time he's called potato. No, on God. Nothing wrong with farting and burping. Just have some coof about it. Sierra, first of all, I'm irritated that you use the word coof. Because, baby. <laughs> that, just sounds, that just sounds a little old. Have some coof about it. Girl. Has your mom ever farted in front of you? Mm, no. See? Does your mom even fart? I mean, yeah, she probably do. 
Probably. That's the key word. You're not supposed to be farting in front of your little girl. That's not teaching her proper etiquette. Does she boo boo in front of you? No, but I remember how she would be in the bathroom and I would go in next and I could smell it. So it's like, oh my God. <gasps> So you know she did it? Yes. And it stinks? That's what people always talk about because, like, bro. Like, do you tell you her, like, you stink? Yes, I do. All the time. Mm-hmm. I don't even want my daughter to know I boo boo. If she came in the bathroom, I'd probably pinch it off hella quick and flush it and courtesy flush and. Oh my god, that's hella stressful. Mm-hmm. Boys is like dirty and nasty anyway, like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. There we go. Nah, I would for sure just be myself. Not. Oh, you use poopery? Yes. The one you sprayed in the toilet? We have all types. Are you serious? I bring it to DC too. Y'all keep it in the bathroom? Mm hmm. You be nervous to poop? No. Me either. I'm a light. I don't care where I'm at. I'm lighting that bathroom up. If I gotta go, I gotta go. I do be mad though, because I feel like sometimes when you boo at other people's house and it be extra stanky and it's like, you don't never even stank this bad at home. Yeah. Like, now you want to show out because we in front of company. It's like, I don't like that. I would definitely need poop respray for that, but one thing about me, I'm definitely gonna go. definitely gonna light it up not and i don't even know how to cook i'll fart in front of my children too Ugh, daphne it's just disgusting nah i probably would you know how people be saying like they wouldn't do certain shit but it's like girl you're not finna change i am who i am at this point like this is me you have to accept me (laughs) embrace embrace me for who i truly am I feel like little girls be burping anyway, just thinking it's funny, because that's what uh, my goddaughter be doing. Just <laughs> let it rip. <laughs> Panda, you're really overthinking it. All those things are just an experience to be had. I'm <laughs> so weak. Daphne said, this is normal, baby. Are you letting it rip at the grocery store while you in the aisle, everything? Mm-hmm. I mean, are your kids not strangers? I'm going to be me. I'm so weak, Cheryl. So you wanting the moms to be acting different in public. And then people will be like, oh, your mom is so nice. But behind closed doors, you be doing so much. I see how you act. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I let this body vibrate. Remember when I was letting it rip? Donald, you were hella burping. That was pissing me off. You were... Actually, okay, the thing that pisses me off about you, you don't even cover your mouth. You just... <clears throat> at least I cover my mouth and at least I squeeze my butt cheek so it seeps out. It's not just a big flow passage of do- dookie air. You just was just burping not even caring at that point i said oh yeah he's a man i don't want to hold it and pay for it with trap gas and i thought yeah that'd be hurting hella bad that'd be hurting hella bad gas pains are terrible Mm, 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 mm. also yesterday i ate hella cheese i was paying for last night boy are you like this is all right yes me too and that toilet, my booty did this big one on me. That <laughs> shit, it was like an explosive. It was like gasoline exploding. It was just everywhere. It was horror. It was terror. It was bad, y'all. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I have leftover pizza, but I can't eat it today. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't subject myself to that. I can't, y'all. It was bad. It was real bad. It was traumatizing bad. It's not healthy to hold it in. You can have health problems. Let it out. Mm-mm. But how many of y'all be farting in public? Because now I see how nasty y'all are. I'm going to start wearing my mask still. Because it's 165 of y'all in here and 140 of y'all got loose booty holes just farting in public. So I'm going to have to start wearing my mask. Y'all like those people never want to do right making the people around you suffer. No, for real. For real. I don't know why I'd be thinking I could just get away with it, but cheese is so good. So you ain't never let a silent one rip, Zaya. Just don't come down I-7. Definitely something back there. I'm weak. I'm not about to force the fart in front of strangers. (laughs) 
when I fart, I do silent and it smell real bad. And I'm gonna be saying that. I'm not gonna be saying that. So, Donna, you probably farted a couple times. Have you never farted in front of me, actually? And please don't. I hate, like, I like the way my fart smells. Even though it stinks, I like the smell. But other people, I really hate when other people fart in front of me. And I smell it. It's just hella nasty. It's hella nasty. It makes me not want to be around you. Really. Now I hold it in until I get outside. That's respectful. I like that. I go in the bathroom and flush it. I fart and flush it down the toilet. That's proper etiquette. This is hit. I don't just say he just let one rip right now. <laughs> I'm so weak. Don't you let it rip right now. Y'all hate bending over. I don't know what it is. The older I get, the more I hate it. Okay, y'all, we almost used the whole thing. Just a little bit more. We only got two more rows after this. Arabian Heart. And then my next couple clients, I'm still gonna have gas because I'm going to get Mediterranean food. I haven't had it in hella long. Like a week. What even is Mediterranean food? It's like beef lamb, euros. You ever had euro? No. It's like a sandwich, but I get the vegetarian patty. Y'all, it be just hitting. It really do. It be so good. I love a vegetarian patty. That's hella hair coming out. That's how you know this hair cheap. But it's cool. It's Amazon. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brooke. You came in at an awkward time. I'm sorry. We're talking about booty holes. And then being brown with air coming out. Not these comments. I'm weak. Y'all tell me y'all deep and darkest secrets today. Just let it flow. I need some ammo on y'all because I'll be telling y'all too much of my business. And now y'all think y'all got to one up on me. So go ahead. Keep it, keep it flowing. In public, no one knows me. And once it's released, I walk briskly away from the door. Wow, Torsha. I hope I ain't never been at the same grocery store as you. Where you from? Because sometimes I be smelling dookie air, but I don't be seeing nobody in sight. And I just be thinking it's old food at the stuff. But it's really your butt. My booty hole whistles like Mariah Carey. <sighs> Give me your phone. Right now. I don't care if you pass gas. Just say excuse me and let me know before. I'm about to fart. <clears throat> excuse me. Like that. That's crazy. Tell you why we gotta tell why we gotta say excuse me if we already told you. Excuse me is like if it's caught off guard, like if it slips out, and then we be like, oh, excuse me. But I gotta tell you and be excused. Like, who do you think you are, Miss Mamas? That's crazy. I'm not gonna tell you and ask for your forgiveness. Now, Miss Matt, he would have definitely been out of house. Those are lethal. <laughs> I live alone, so I let it go whenever. But when I'm in public, sometimes I got to remind myself it's not the time and place for that. Oh, baby, it's always the time and place for me. Because one thing I'm not going to do is hold it in. Unless I'm in a grocery store line and there's people directly behind me. Because, like, I don't want them to know it's me. Or I might do it and be like, y'all smell that? Because then they know it's not you. Because why would you say something about it if it was you? Yeah. Yeah. This conversation is killing me. Okay, we need to stop this, y'all. This is just disgusting. It's actually hella nasty. But I'm actually intrigued. I'm just glad to know I'm not by myself. Because I love to fart. It's like, it like releases just some type of something in my bloodstream is just like an addiction 
It's like I feel like I'm losing weight when I do it. Oh, it just doesn't feel like it's hella satisfying. It's like pulling a piece of hair out your butt crack. It's just a satisfying feeling. I can't explain. Clearly, only a few of y'all will understand. Y'all nasty. Y'all hella nasty. What is Aya doing? <sighs> so you look around like the kids at school faking it all, talking about who did it when you did it. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, I do do that. I do do that because it's kind of like, when you don't do that, it just makes it seem like you did it. Because it's like, I know you smell it. It's like, I know you smell it. So I'd be like, who did that shit? Like, that stinks. And then I start tapping my foot like I'm hella irritated. Like, bruh. <laughs> but now I have Kai, so I'm just going to pick him up and smell his butt and be like, ooh, he boo-boo. So that way I could keep letting them rip. Because if they think it's him, they're not going to say nothing. And then we get in the car and I'm just like, thank you, son. Mm -hmm. You did your big one back there. Wow. <laughs> he, look, you're going to be dry as, dry as day in his diaper. Thank you, son. Thanks for that acting. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it is when you got kids. Or if I have my nephew and I fart, I look at him and say, did you fart? And he'd be like, no. I know you did. Just blame it on him. It's cool. They ain't going to remember it. No, once they get teenagers, I might do something. But please. I'd be like, I told you about farting, Mario. It's not nice. It's not polite. <laughs> I'm dead dead week so dang that summer's over so this one this summer wasn't hidden for real you be excited for summer i mean depends if i'm going on a trip or something yeah you usually travel mm -hmm. mm. you've been out the country before no mm. i'm going in december though I'm going where are you Africa. going oh snap with your mom yeah because my uncle has a um, house out there hold on <laughs> That's what's up. That's going to be hella fun. I know. That's going to be different. Real different. What, uh... He has a... What um, country? He has a house in this Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. But it's actually, like, hecka nice. Like, he got, like, a like a um hut in the back of, like, the mansion. So it's like, nice. Wait, Africa is a continent, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not tripping. What are they... Is it called countries in Africa? Y'all, is it called countries in Africa? I don't want to sound like, is it? I need a video with you braiding with long nails, Panda. That live was funny. That was hella funny. That's actually one of my favorite lives. I was looking at that one the other day. Because somebody commented and was like, her hair looks a mess. Like, I guess they thought it was real. I'm like, girl, boo. Could you not watch this video? This, this, uh, yeah, this video and tell it was a joke. Like, be for real. Old lives, y'all. I used to be lit. I'm a lot more calm now. I'm just older, but actually, I started going live during the pandemic and I just felt like I was hella bored. So, we used to do hella entertaining stuff, yeah. It's just like a different time, but I was looking back like we used to be fired up. Maybe I'll be fired up when I get my own building. Cause you know I be having to respect those around me in the facilities I'm in. I'll go back and forth. <laughs> I feel like I have never watched old lives. Like I might have to tap in just to see what it was like. I gotta go back to. I don't even remember the very first live. Like how did I even go live? 
Like, what was I even doing? How, like, what? Yeah. I gotta see, like, who from the chat now was back, was there back then. What's the first video? Like, what's the first? I feel like, what video did y'all find me on? Like, where were y'all like, oh, that's Tanner. You didn't know me before he, right? Mm-mm. Okay. You guys be hitting heavy. No, for real. Those are the ones they be playing at the beauty supplies. I'd be so embarrassed. Like, oh my God, I used to look a mess. I still look a mess. But at least I'd be like, what's a Kelly, y'all? Look just like this. Neck chopped off, y'all. But the other ones, I had the nerve to have my face in the camera. Oh, the spicy noodles with Bree. And then he was like, oh, she do hair. <laughs> yeah, me and Bree was living our best life during the pandemic. The Meg the Stallion ponytail. That's hella funny. I remember that. It was heck along. That's back when we was doing 3 Pick Thursday. Donald, you was there before then. Because didn't you know... I feel like you, you have to know. Your first video was a middle part on yourself. Yeah, it was that. But I'm like, what's the first video that y'all found me? Like, where did you find me is like what I'm asking. I'm curious how many people found me on live or are they just, are you just seeing a tutorial, you know? I found you on the video when you did those box braids tutorial. Okay, I missed three pick that days. I do too. Really outside though. Three pick Thursdays was dope. It really was. I don't know the name of it, but it was a Bobby live, and I binge watched all the lives with Bobby in it. <laughs> She's hella funny to you. She's crazy. That girl is crazy. She used to run from the hot comb. I'm about to be. I'm about to do her hair soon. I'm gonna reach out to her because she got some. Uh, she got some of those twists with the curls in it. That's the last style I did on her, but I didn't go live for it. I'm gonna be like, I know you need your hair done. Let me see the uh -oh. the bandana long ponytail. It was a lot though. Oh yeah, I found you on your Sephora videos on where you have purple hair. Yeah. My first video was a drinker dare with China and Imani. Then I started marathoning and stuff from there. That's hella funny because that's like, oh my god, that video. We're sick. We're just some really sick individuals. Licking toilet, just sick. Yeah, the live where she was there hours is my favorite of the day. Braiding hair was live. It was, it was on a two-year-old baby. Okay. We did the triangle braids with the cornrows in between the parts on China. Oh, yeah. That's before her ball spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, y'all some OGs in this thing. Okay. Your life popped up in my For You page last year. Interesting. I'd be wondering if it does that for people on YouTube. But I feel like, to be honest, if one of my lives popped up on somebody's For You page, I'll probably watch it because it's like, the old ones have like a hundred thousand views and i'll be like why are they watching this person for like three hours like what's so cool about it i'll probably tune in you know just based off that because i definitely ain't watching no three hour lot no three hour video but i will say like when um okay so i like to watch uh messy mondays you watch messy mondays yeah sometimes um what's his name i am zoe mm -hmm. and sometimes when it only be like 20 minutes i'd be hella irritated like bruh Make it longer. I don't care what you're talking about. Just talk about shit. You be thinking that sometimes? Yeah. So it's like, I could see myself watching longer videos. Because it's like, when he's like, that's all I got, I'd be having an attitude like, bro, this hella other stuff you could have talked about. Just talk. <laughs> but that, that's probably how y'all be feeling. Because I used to be like, I don't like, like to go live. It's like, what do I say? But she like, just do hair. But live is hella big now. I notice on TikTok, like, everybody be on live. You be watching other TikTok lives or seeing it or you do more videos? I be seeing it, but I just, I do more videos. Have you peeped, though, like, hella people go live? Yes. And then you put up my For You page, too. Yeah. Do you watch your own lives after you end them? No, I won't watch my own lives, for real. Only if I'm trying to find a moment, like... The battle one, I went back and watched, like, when we pranked Imani. Like, I'll do that. But I won't just let it play, no. 
because I feel like it's just kind of weird to hear myself and then I be like I don't know I'm kind of hard on myself like I'm like oh my god I look so fat oh my god my back looks big like I'll just do stuff like that so it's just like no and then also I was here so I know what was done what was talked about you know it's not like it's something new that I'm watching so yeah I don't really do that but let's say if me and um Amani and trying to do like doo doo doos or something I will I don't remember what client you were doing, but you were like six months pregnant and you were on TikTok. Yeah. Watch not sure it did until TikTok came along. I hate hearing my voice. I do too. You can come on live talking about books and I watch it. Wait, it used to be like 800 people in here. It did, but yeah, TikTok, I feel like TikTok really killed that. And also, that was more during the pandemic. I feel like it was just a different time. And then I didn't really stay consistent. Like, I kind of stopped going on YouTube a little bit. So, that's also probably why. Now, now YouTube is definitely, like, the same people. Um, and it's definitely, like, way more calmed down than, like, a TikTok live would be. You know, TikTok, they be just, it be a little more messy and spicy. But I love um, my YouTube live because I'm not going to come in here and just chill and do me. Maybe I'll get back on here. Yeah. Cause y'all, I really still am the same person. I really still am fired up. I just be trying to be respectful of like the other sweets in here and stuff. So, yeah. But I'm way better than Brayden. A lot that popped up when I was doing um. The nice hair. Somebody had commented on, and I was like, "Oh hell no, the braids look a mess." And I hate when people comment on my old lives. Like, somebody was like, "She's definitely a beginner braider. She needs to focus on her client." And I'm thinking, first of all, bitch, this live was from four years ago. Like, I'm right. not a beginner. Like, this was is, like, I was it looking it's looking like a beginner back then, but like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. But I don't be saying nothing. I just be laughing because I'm like, the video's hella old. Like, what? And they be right. The braids would be looking a mess, but it was looking good for back then. You know how that be. Yeah. TikTok is like a party and YouTube is like a family to me. Yeah. TikTok is like when you going out, but it's like, ooh. That's a real good analogy, Juju. You be irritated, though, when you be in them comments? Because I know for the battle, you was just... Actually, Juju, you was fired up for the battle. I was reading all your live comments. <laughs> yeah. Like you be sitting there going, not really. Not. Y'all hate sitting to get my hair done. <laughs> That's why I just be wishing I could just drop off my head and then pick it back up. Y'all think in the future we'll be able to do that? Drop so. off our heads and pick it back up? It'll be better for me. Would you, if they came out with a surgery where you can, um, you have to get a surgery, right? And there's a 50-50 chance you will survive or not. No. Okay? That means you don't even know what it is. But with the surgery, they would basically cut your head in half so it's detachable. And you could do stuff like, like, they would put an extra, a extra, like, set of eyes and everything in your chest, right? So it's like, but, but the chest one only works if you take your actual head off, okay? So... Basically, what you could do is, like, you could put your head at school, but your body is, like, doing something else. Oh, yeah. And the surgery was free because it's experimental. It's just a 50-50 chance. So, like, you know, you could have your head at work. You have your body at work, but your head is, like, at home watching a Netflix series. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I don't know because I feel like I don't want to die. Like, 
Well, you may you may or may not die. It's fifty fifty. It's like going in a submersible. You can or you can't. No, that stuff was crazy. They. It's like I've been waiting so long for the brave battle. You know, I had to turn up. I'm weak. Y'all have. I love Juju Ju Ju Nisi Juju Ju Ju that they did for you. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to go look it up. What video was it? Juju Ju Nisi, send me the link to the video so I can look it up. Not does insurance cover it? It's free. It's free. So y'all would do it. I'm not doing that shit. It's a 50 50 chance. Just my luck. I've never been lucky. I've never been lucky. Would you do it? No. You wouldn't? Mm -hmm. That's a pass. I don't want to say I wouldn't do it, but then it's like, if I see somebody else doing it and they live in their best life, like, body at work, head somewhere else, I might get kind of jealous and just do it and just say F it. Because it's like, we're all going to die anyway. And if that's my way that I'm supposed to go, I might as well just go. Yeah. Nah, I'm not doing that shit. I don't know. I had a screen recorded. Okay, experimental surgery is not happening unless I'm already dying and surgery could save me. <laughs> I felt I would survive because I, I felt I would survive just because I want to die. What? Now, friend, hold on. Let me see who that is. Zaya. Do we need to have a conversation outside of this YouTube? Hold on. What about the live when Amani fell? I died and came back. That shit was so funny, bro. That got a blast. It's just, that's going to take me out every single time. It's going to do it. That shit was so damn funny. So damn funny. Got a blast. It's just the way that she did it, and she showed it a blast. That was hilarious. Oh, my God. That's probably, that definitely goes down. <laughs> that definitely goes down in history and I'm so glad y'all saw it man I replayed it so many times <laughs> just evil did China fall? when did China fall? Zaya has been commenting some sideways stuff for a minute okay I must have just peeped at it like Buki you gotta be young or maybe we need to have a conversation if you need to talk I may not answer you could write me on Instagram. I'm going to try to answer. Yeah. We got a neutral queen talking about the both of them did an amazing job watching the Bray battle. No, pick a side. Look, I'm about to start being messy in these in them comments. Pick a side. We don't want no neutral queen. We don't want no neutral queen up in here. Two more rows, y'all. We almost done. Almost finita. You had Boho before, it just wasn't heck full, huh? Mm hmm I got them like three times. Really? Yeah. I got tribals with them, and then I got that hairstyle for DC with the hearts. Uh, and I think it was hella cute. You was feeling that? Mm hmm Yeah, that was cute. What's your favorite hairstyle that you've gotten so far? Um, it's like I know what you're about to say. I don't know. I feel like I like the boho and the half up half down. I know you. I thought you were gonna say the half up half down. <laughs> the half up half down was so cute when you had did that TikTok and you had that outfit on. Yes, I love. I was it. like, she oh looks so cute. Was that your birthday? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was like, look at London. I feel like. I've never really seen your like style style before, yeah. you know, because it's not like you get hella dressed to come to appointments. Mm -hmm. So when I seen you dress up, I was like, oh my gosh, she's <laughs> hella pretty. Hell yeah, I love yeah. that hairstyle. <sighs> yeah, that was real cute. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. That looks funny, you. You like ice spice? I mean, I don't really listen to her, but like, you know, if she comes on, like, I'll sing it. Mm. Her and Nicki Minaj besties now, huh? Yes. Does, um, do people hate on her? Or not really? Who, I Spice? Yeah. I mean, not really. I feel like, you know, like, she's like, she's becoming big, so I feel like they don't really hate, but mm. they be hating on Lotto a lot. They be trying to No, hella. 
I was literally just about to say, so y'all, I, I used, usually be on Twitter. Um, where is my edge control? I usually be on um, Twitter, but not like hella, 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 but you know, when I got some downtime, I'd be like, what's popping on Twitter? Because you could find any and everything on Twitter. You be on Twitter? Yes. Yeah, you could Twitter. literally, you could find everything I love on Twitter. Twitter. So, um,. Yeah, I went on Twitter the other day, like, I, I follow a lot of, like, Bad Girls Club, BGC stuff on there, and just, like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of messy on Twitter, like, the stuff I watch is, like, messy shit, I be in people business, and I seen this one thread, and they were, like, laughing, they were saying, like, uh, that Lotto dresses like a, dresses like a, a WWE wrestler, but then they started just hella going in on her in the comments. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, I did not know that people don't like her because I love her. Yeah, exactly. Like, what is this hit? And they were trying from? to say that she was, that um, she's trying to be like Ice Spice now. Yeah, that's what they, that's they were really saying. They was like, if they got into a rap battle, like, who will win? Like, what? Yeah, they were like basically saying, like, she's trying to be like her and she's jealous of her now because she got the co sign from the queen. And like, just hella going in. And I was like, it kind of threw me off because I have a love lotto. Like, I did not know that she had ops like that. But everybody in the comments was, like, laughing at her, posting, like, pictures of her, videos of her. Like, it kind of threw me for a loop. I was like, what? <laughs> no, for real. Because I did not know that people didn't like her. Yeah. A lot of people be mesmerized by that, Jesus. Like, I'm just waiting for the jail to fall. I'll be telling them, like, we're going to be waiting for a while because it's not going to fall. But the other day, it kept falling off my hand. I don't do the ghetto hand shit no more. How long have we been quiet for? Like two minutes. <laughs> Wait, for heck of minutes? No, I said two. Two minutes is a long time. We were quiet for that long? Yeah. Oh my god. Or at least one minute, like not that y'all, long. I don't I don't even remember being here. I don't even know how I got here. You ever been driving y'all and you like get home and you're like, wait, when was I driving? Like that's just what happened to me. Oh like I what? Like what's the last thing that I said? That's so crazy. That be happening to me a lot. Look, I know y'all what y'all thinking. I'm not getting in the car with this food. <laughs> she wears the fro with the weave is the same color as her natural. I wonder why people like it. Mm-hmm. Sierra, that's suspicious. Oh, just a couple seconds. Okay. I had like a I had like a dazed out moment. Lisa, you do that all the time. I know I ain't getting in um I know I'm not getting in the car with you, Buki. Wow. No, I stay doing that, y'all. But not when I'm driving with my son. But when I'm by myself, I definitely be like, wait, how did I get here? I do space out while driving. I'm like, was that red, like red or green? No, for real. It's just like, when, especially when I'm driving on the freeway, I'll be like, wait, was I just driving? But I'm not sleep, though. But it's like I'm not driving, though. That's crazy. Or when you go through the stoplights and be like, wait, was that like green? Or somebody else just said that. I don't do that. That's giving tickets. I ain't going through no stoplights now, but I definitely be days driving. Definitely. Ever had them this full, huh? Mm -mm. You think you don't like them, or is it giving annoying? No, I think I like them. I do too. I was happy you said yeah, because I was like, these don't be hella cute on her. <laughs> you be really down for whatever, huh? Yeah. Okay. 
Not and be halfway home and realize you were supposed to stop at the store. I hate that. I just seen someone else commented that I tried to delete it. <laughs> I have to be ready for people to get their ass out of my way, know where you're going, or get before you get in front of me. I'm weak. Thank you, love. I really want to start a podcast. Just nervous. I love to talk to people and just show them love and care. That's what's up. What would your podcast be about? I thought about starting a podcast too, but I just like don't know. I feel like it would just be hair stuff, but also just other stuff too. Oh, jeez, my knees, I'm getting old, man. Yeah. You would really want the braids mo did on your head what oh they commenting now they they debating in the comments abby you don't give me road rage you be riding people's bumpers you don't give me that either no that's the things here abigail you really don't actually you give me like you would just be in the slow lane actually getting on my nerves that's what you give you don't really give speeding riding bumpers you give like driving hella slow, like get out my way. You give driving driving in the fast lane, but only going 60. That's what you really give. It's just like, and then it's like I peek over and you're hella close to the steering wheel. And then I feel hella bad. Like, okay, my bad. I'm sorry. That's what you're giving. Because you just seem so like nice. Like, why would you ride somebody's bumper? It's just not even in your personality. I think Abigail, I think I think you're hella nice, but I think you have an evil side that I'm just not seeing. Huh? <laughs> it gets slow lane. What do I give? Cause I'm definitely a safe, I'm a safe driver, but what do I give? What were y'all talking about? I was checking out my food. We talking about when you drive in and you like zone out and you get to your destination and be like, how did I even get here? And then we started talking about what type of drivers we, we were. Sierra said she definitely going to jail. That's how she drive. And I said, Abigail definitely gives slow lane and, and a booby and nipples on the, the, the steering wheel. She seemed hella nice. That's the only reason she has my number. I'm weak. <laughs> fast as hell, Panda. Do I get fast? Donald to be so scared driving with me. We did almost hit a Prius and we did almost run into construction cones. I'll give him that. But one thing about me though, you ain't finna die and you about to get there. And if it says 10 minutes, we gonna make it there in two. It's just, I already know if Donald ain't here, he gonna be like, now nah, Bree, I did almost run into the back of a Prius and I did almost hit some construction cones. I didn't see the lanes closing because I was too busy on my phone watching TikTok. But we survived we made it and sometimes i do veer over to the left i mean to the right a little just a little bit but only when i'm sending my text message after i'm done sending i correct it immediately and it might feel like a little jerk but it doesn't matter like keeps you on your toes keeps you woke <laughs> not one time you hit a mailbox oh baby i'm not getting in the car with you you're done you need a handicap placard that's what you need because you can't clearly you can't see you can't drive how you hit a whole ass mailbox it must be you are from the south it must be an old school mailbox y'all terrible but when kai's in the car i ain't gonna lie nah i am when kai's in the car i do drive better <laughs> y'all did hear that huh? that was supposed to take place in my head but yeah i do drive better for real I don't text, but I still, you know, I maneuver the same, but without the texting. But if you're over 18, oh, I'm definitely texting and driving because you live a full life pretty much. We can take chances now. I drive fast too when my kids in the car. I'm always safe sometimes. Wink. Right. Me too. 
Not too much on the south. They can't drive, but still, not too much. I'm weak. Can they not drive in the south? In California, I feel like we just drive fast. Only time people can't drive is when it's raining. That shit pisses me off, actually. Like, I actually be just ready to run into the back of people. Sometimes I'm willing to sacrifice my car just to prove a point. Because it's like, this is what's going to happen if you keep driving like this. I'm in Detroit. We can't drive at all. Dang. Oh, I'm coming to Detroit. Detroit, Detroit. Sorry, y'all, I just looked over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn's coming back with the cabaret. I've seen that. Are you going to watch it? Yeah. Did you see her fight? Wait, what fight? Wait. Who? Uh, Big Lex. Oh, no, I didn't even see that. What? I heard about it, but I did not watch it. Oh, but you heard about it. it, though. It was crazy. Yeah. Where's she going to? New York, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I seen, um... I seen the trailer on Zeus. I'm surprised they brought her back, but I am really happy. Yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie, she makes great TV, y'all. She does. She's funny. And it's like, I be feeling bad for the girls, but it's like, if you've watched three seasons of how she treats people and still volunteer for the show, then that's on you. It's like, I can't really feel bad for you, friend. Like, because I feel like it's going to be the same thing. After the season is over, they're going to want to come out, say how she really treat people. Like, girl. This is just a mess. I had watched her on College Hill. It was so funny. Oh, you actually watched it? Was it good? Yeah. It's worth watching? But, I mean, she she got expelled, so it was like... Oh, for the fight? What mm -hmm. was her name? Really? Yeah. How many uh, episodes was she on, though? Like, she was on all of them. She was on, like, seven until graduation day. Mm-hmm. Wow, she got expelled. What school they going to? Clark? They had went to um, Alabama... University, Alabama State University. Mm -hmm. They go to all HBCUs, so that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. I knew it was one of them colleges down there in the south, but I didn't know which one it was. Yeah. 35 miles per hour, I'm doing 4550. No, on God. On God. And I hate when pedestrians step off the curb. Like, bitch, you will get hit. I'm not slowing down or stopping. If you're not fully in the street, I'm not slowing down. So it's just, do you want to meet God or do you want to get to your destination? Is really the two options you have. Just kidding, y'all. Drive safe. <laughs> yeah. I'm a mail carrier, so I can show them my badge. No ticket for me. Oh, Mrs. Bailey. I'm going to start using you. Yeah. My, I have a cousin. Um, she's a mail carrier. Do you need me to FaceTime her? Go ahead and drop your number, friend. Spread the love. <laughs> Cause what? What time is it, Linda? One thirty-two. Okay. My stomach growling, y'all. I don't know what y'all been told. Da 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 da. What's happening? Put a ribbon on me. I'm in nothing but a mood.
I love that song. Did I put it on the floor? <laughs> yeah. I feel like Cardi could have came a little bit harder with her verse, but I still like it though. Yeah, same. You feel the same? Like it was good, but I, I needed like something like tomorrow. You know? Mm hmm Like I feel like she, she ate, ate that yeah, one. Yeah, she was good. Love Lotto. Lotto's blowing up too. I feel like her and um, they love Lotto on TikTok, just not on Twitter. Okay, that is right. What happened? I feel like you mentioned where you were from. Where you at, from Detroit? Oh, yeah, she did. Detroit. Y'all want to know something heck of funny? So, my cousin Monique, she used to go live on TikTok a lot, right? And, like, she'll have heck of friends. She'll be like, oh. I was like, oh, where you know her from? She's like, oh, I met her off TikTok, right? But they would be talking on the phone. And I would be like, that's hella weird. Like, you met her off of TikTok. <laughs> and you, like, talking to her on the phone. But, y'all, why do I do the same thing now? Like, I feel like, like, Abigail has my number. Tyree. I talk to Tyreek. Neek. And Donald like every day is like I was thinking in my head I guess it's like a normal thing now to meet people because I was thinking in my head here when you asked where she was from I was thinking like why like it's not like you're gonna link up with her that's weird but then it's like it's not really that weird thank you so much Tiffany are you a silent viewer let me read it you're doing such a good job on her on that hair sometimes Blink you go, girl. You know what you're doing. I love watching you and your family. I love you. You're just down there. I just thought I would have to beat you. Thank you so much. You know, Abigail, she don't go live on TikTok as much. She said it just got kind of boring. I feel like for her, like the LG, she does like a lot of LGBTQ stuff. And um, the community is really small. And she was just like, it got kind of boring and kind of messy. So I think she left. But girl, you better tell her. Be like, Mo, go live. And I'm pretty sure she will. Because she used to be on live every day doing all types of stuff. You be trying to tell her. Yeah. <clears throat> Do y'all watch battles on live? Like battles like what? Like, not like what I was doing. Like when people versus each other. You don't be seeing them. I be seeing them, but I don't be watching them. You just keep scrolling. Yeah. food I can't wait to eat. What time is it? 
138. 138? Okay, I need to finish our hair by like 215, y'all. Y'all think I could do it? Gotta give me enough time to go get my. Okay, time out. I don't have to finish our hair by no time. That's right. <laughs> my client canceled. I got another client, but my client canceled, so I could be late. Yes. Love that. I love a cancellation. I don't love a cancellation, but I love a cancellation, though. If that makes sense. Because I thought my day was going to be crazy busy today, but it's just busy, not crazy busy. Which is good. <laughs> What's happening? I don't watch them, but I've been in a couple battles. Oh, you be battling, Cheryl? Do you be winning or what? You should have told me if I knew it was you I'd come in there. Cause I'll be giving um I'll be giving my little coins to random people. I need to start doing that because I don't even be knowing them. For reals. They said do you charge a cancellation fee? If not, what's your viewpoint on it? No, I don't. I don't. I personally don't, but um I will like technically I'm supposed to keep the deposit, but sometimes I'm even lenient with that just because I feel like you know, but I think it's fair for people to charge cancellation fees or, you know, or to at least keep the deposit just because for me, I feel like I have multiple streams of income. So it, it may not be like as detrimental to me versus someone who like solely relies on money from being behind the chair. I think that like when you cancel, especially if it's last minute on someone who solely relies on the money from behind the chair, it is an issue because it's like somebody else could have took that slot and you're missing out on money so i think it's only fair to that you are respectful you know of the person's time just like you would expect them to be for you so i do think it is you know it's definitely justifiable but um i don't know i be having like the mentality like shit happens sometimes i never personally have to cancel but i understand like sometimes people cancel and they tell me they have covid and stuff and it's like I don't know if they're lying or not, but sometimes shit just happens. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe a bill came out your account and you can't afford it. Or maybe, I don't know, like something came up and you really can't make it. You know, I try to be lenient with people and at least allow them to reschedule. Um, but, yeah, it's not, um, you know, I feel like I don't think people are wrong for charging cancellation fees and stuff like that. Because, like I said... You know, some people, they are re really relying on that money and relying on filling that slot. And sometimes you cannot, um, you can't fill, you know, you can't fill that in. You can't get that money or that time back. Yeah. Charge a cancellation fee. Don't care what it is. Yeah. Um, my cancellation today was a new client. And, you know, I was lean. I was like, okay, you know, you could reschedule or whatever. But I am somebody who, like, I do need to get more strict about enforcing my policies because even though they're probably not trying to take advantage people there are always people who will so I think it's it's just all about setting boundaries in your business and people won't take you serious if you don't follow your own policies they're not going to take your policy serious so I do need to start doing that but y'all it's right now it's giving do as I do and not as I mean do as I say and not as I do okay But yeah, I have her deposit. You know, if she wants to reschedule, she can. But I try to just operate with compassion. And it's worked for me. I don't really have encountered too many um, bad experiences or anything like that. But at the end of the day, like, it is a business, you know. So it does need to be. I got to move as such. But. Yeah, I've, been, I've honestly, since I've had my son, I've been working on, like, just setting more boundaries for myself, especially in my business, um, especially when it comes to, like, doing favors for people who I knew, know will not reciprocate. So I've been doing better, but I still have a lot of work to do. Yeah, I still have a lot of work to do, but I am doing better. My friends be holding me accountable. So, yeah. Put a ribbon on me. I've been acting brand new. Mm -hmm. 
that's DC, Arizona. So how do you feel about blocking people after they've canceled so many times? Okay, so that, yeah, I definitely would. Um, <laughs> this is actually funny because I have someone who, like, keeps rescheduling and keeps rescheduling. And she's like, um, and she was like, so the other day she hit me up. She was like, I be hella trying to book, but it's hard to get in, right? But it's not hard to get in. I blocked her from booking, so she can't see no available dates. It's just like, no, because every time you book a slot, you reschedule. And that is actually hella annoying because once my schedule is full, me trying to squeeze you in is now making it like harder for me, you know, when you could have just took the day that you had and she's done it multiple times. And so I just hit her with a ha ha ha, like, yeah, girl, you know, I be booked. But it's like, no, I blocked you from booking because that I actually don't like to do that. And recently with my schedule, I've been leaving a little bit of time open to slide people in, but still it's just hella annoying. Like I don't like when I have to reschedule you and now like I have a day that's hella heavy and you know, I work my two days back to back. So it's just, that's kind of annoying, but I feel like I would. I mean, if you feel like anybody is playing with your time or your business shit, block them. All money is not good money. And all clients, like you can't take everybody. That's just the bottom line. I don't care how much you like my work. Like, it's just a no. We don't vibe. There's hella other good breakers out there and in my area. So just, yeah. <laughs> just like, fuck with them. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel the first time being lenient because stuff do come up. But after that second, third time, yeah, no. I'm with you on that. Yeah, but I haven't really, um, a lot of these things, like I'm just saying, I'm telling you how I would move, but I never really experienced it too much. Um, and I also, I try to hold myself accountable too. Like I don't be canceling on people. I'm not one of those type of people. I will forget you got an appointment, but I'm going to still take you. I didn't did that a couple times to you, London. What? You show up and I'm like, oh shit, I did not know you was coming today. Yeah, I know a lot. <laughs> But I haven't done it recently. But I still take you though. It's just like, damn, I didn't know you was coming. <laughs> Cause I, I be forgetting the right people in. But um, yeah, I try to like hold myself at the same standard. Like I try not to. If I'm running late, I try to contact my clients with enough time. That's why whenever I talk to my clients, I be like, oh, where you live? Where you where you be coming from? Blah blah blah. So I could give them enough time. But. First time I am lenient, but after a while, it's like, yeah, you're not going to keep playing with me. Yeah. I don't know what y'all been told. Yeah. So do y'all be dealing with this type of stuff or y'all just are throwing out hypotheticals? or theoreticals, whatever they call it. I don't take clients anymore. Maybe somebody in the chat needed those questions. Okay, period. And pan and press, period. Press for what? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> press for what? Don't get me wrong, y'all. I need my coin. I do need my coin. But, you know, for me, like, sometimes I am really busy. And I do tend to, like, overbook myself a lot. Not, like, overbooked like can't get my people in but just like I'll work myself down to the bone one day so sometimes when I get a cancellation it's actually like a breath of fresh air like okay like I don't got back to back to back to back clients today you know so most of the time I ain't gonna lie when I get a cancellation I'll be like oh shit I should read today like you know I'll be chilling but at the same time especially if I have an assistant here it's like okay I'm trying to get my coin boo like and you're messing with my coin or I'll be irritated because it's like I'll have a client who was trying to get in today and I told him no because I was already booked back to back and it's like, damn, I could just let them in, you know. I'll think about that, but yeah, I don't be, I don't be really hella tripping like a lot of stylists. Like I'll see a lot of stylists post about stuff like that. As long as you communicate, I'm usually good. Mm 
Yeah, I had a loctician tell one of her customers that my locks were damaged from lightening it. She was the person that lightened it. You had her tell one of your one of your customers that her locks were damaged from lightening it. She's the one who lightened it. <laughs> Damn. Did you say something to her? That's hella funny because I had got a brow lamination done and my eyebrows like fell out from it. I don't know if like she did something or if my eyebrows just didn't respond well to it. And then she asked me to be a model for her, um, my micro, to get my brows uh, microbladed. And she was like, yeah, your brows are just like thin. And I was thinking like, they weren't thin until you did a freaking, what's it called? A brow lamination on them. Like they were never thin, but I just thought it was hella funny. But I got my um, brows microbladed for free for a class for her. And I was like, I wonder if she knew she damaged them and felt bad or if she just like, cause we are cool, you know? If she just was like, oh, let me do it for her. I'll be thinking that to this day. The hair grew back, but yeah. Yeah. She also didn't tell me she thought my hair was damaged. I never went back. Thanks for the advice, but dang, don't ask, I didn't ask you to raise my baby. Wait, what's she talking about? She said she has seen that live when you snapped on people telling, um, when they were telling you how to raise your baby and like telling you not to be working or stuff. Yeah, you know, so I be having mixed emotions because like, especially with my YouTube fan, like y'all in the chat, mainly the people in the chat right now, I, I do really value y'all advice, y'all opinion, but I feel like for me, especially when I had just had my baby, you get so much unsolicited advice that even though I know you guys' intentions were pure and like I know that it was coming from like a place of love, it's just, at first I was like taking all the advice because I'm like, yeah, I do want to know and I know a lot of people have done this before and you know, there's a lot of things that I didn't know and still to this day, like don't know. I feel like every month is just a different phase of his life and I'm dealing with something different. But I feel like in the beginning, when I first had my baby and I'm getting a bunch of advice, like it gets to a point where it's just like, shut up. <laughs> like, just shut up, just shut up. Just please, please shut up, you know? And there were a couple of times where I lashed out and I was like, dang, I shouldn't have did that because like I do value people's advice and like I do value what you guys tell me and I do listen. But I think like, it's just not even that it's just coming from social media, it's just, in life period you know i'll call two different people and they're like oh how scott how scott he's teething oh you got to do this you got to do this you got to do this it's like bruh like i'm not asking you like i'm just responding to your question you know like you just hear so much different advice that i feel like at times for me it would just get overwhelming where it's like bruh i don't want to hear what i should be doing or what i can't be doing because at the end of the day he is my kid i'm gonna raise him and do what i feel i want to do you know but I felt bad one day because I was like, I don't want anybody to think like I don't want to hear you guys' opinion because it's like I do value what you guys tell me and I do listen. And I know there are a lot of moms in the chat, you know, especially on YouTube. But yeah, it's just like the thing that would irritate me was them telling me who could be around my kid. Like, oh, you shouldn't have people holding your baby. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Like, yeah. girl, what are you talking about? And I was very like before people came to me, my, my kid, I would make sure they were COVID tested like. I, would, I wasn't just having my, my kid around anyone. And a lot of my clients I'm very close with. So I could get it, like, watching a video. You might, like, say, for example, if I had my baby and he was sitting in your lap. Like, London, mm -hmm. I'm cool with London. Like, you know, it's not like you're just a random customer, you yeah. know? So it's just, like, a lot of my clients, like, Bree, China, Monique, like, yeah, they're sitting in my chair as a client, but they're family to me. They're not just random-ass people holding my baby. I think that's what would kind of irritate me a lot. So it's like, well, are you to tell me, you know, like one one video, somebody was talking about China holding my baby or something like that. And they were like, you shouldn't just have people around your baby. Like what? China's not just people. First of all, she was my whole ass assistant. Whole ass lived with me before in LA. Like she's not a random person, you know? So that was it. But 
now I've learned like when people give me advice I just listen I say okay and in my head it's like I'm either going to take the advice or I'm not but I just don't even react I just say oh, okay thank you you know and then some stuff I'm just not going to do because I don't that's not what I want to do like I'm not going to do it but thank you though like you know but I feel bad a couple times for like getting an attitude but I'm like look <laughs> But it's like, I know, I know people ain't, aren't trying to be, like, annoying, but it's just like, you are, though. You're being that. So now when people, when I see other people who have kids, like, I'm going to give no advice. Like, I'm just like, oh, okay, let me know if you need anything. Yeah. That's it. I'm not telling you nothing. That's cool. I'd be like, okay, cool, girl, you got it. <laughs> But y'all, this shit hard. Every day is something different with him. Like, it's just... It's like, damn, I'm fighting to keep this baby alive every day. I've been grooming my hair for a year now, and it's about six inches long. Any advice on how to kick it into overdrive? I get it braided every month and trims before it gets rebraided. Um, You know, you can try to take vitamins, pills. I feel like, like uh, really looking at the foods that are in your diet can really help because that does have a lot to do with it because your regimen that you have going it sounds like it's a recipe for growth some of that guys really is genetics and really is your diet like you can take um hair pills like biotin um but yeah some of that i feel like is just it's just hereditary but it sounds like you have a good little little routine going just make sure you do some deep conditions and keep it moisturizing. You should be good. Yeah, keep it hydrated. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, and water too. That's one thing I missed during my pregnancy. I was drinking a lot of water because I knew I had to. And especially since I was on my feet working a lot I was drinking hella water and ever since I had my kid it's hard for me to get back into drinking as much water actually now that I'm thinking about it let me take a little sippy sip because oh, I remember like, we used to have like big old jugs of water yeah the big old jug thing I was drinking a lot of water I also think I mean obviously I think the skin the um pregnancy did my skin well too but I think that's really why my skin was like clear and glowy is just because I was drinking at least a gallon of water a day no juice or pop oh my god that's hella depressing why are you doing that i love juice i don't really drink a lot of soda but it's not called pop it's called soda but anyway i don't drink a lot of um you must be from ohio i got a client from ohio and she calls it pop but yeah i don't drink a lot of um soda only when i'm eating um uh, mexican cooked food because i feel like you can't eat mexican food without a soda it's just weird can you? No. It's hella like weird. That, yeah. It's like you just need something to burn. Yeah, we use this whole bundle. I'm on my last little leg with this bundle. This is all that model. Steady calling my phone. Um, any of y'all follow me on Instagram? Did y'all see the uh, small knot list that I did yesterday? I'm not. A, I'm gonna post them. Were they actually seven hundred? I charged her three, oh, okay. but that's because she was modeling for me. But I would charge seven hundred. You think that's too much? No. I mean, for real. I was. That's the question I was just about to ask. I was about to say how much should I charge for those? They were hella tiny, y'all. They were ten rows on each side of her head. That's hella tiny. My smalls are usually eight. What y'all, um, how much y'all think I should charge? I'm being for real. Like, I'm not just asking you, you like, because really you think those? I'm dope ass Canada. Yes. I mean, I mean, I charge. Are you really going to, like, offer? Make that, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I need to practice them a couple more times. So I might take a couple mod a couple more models for, like, 400 or something. But, like, I'm I'm really asking, like, Wait, how this, much would y'all pay? Is this Kendall's mom? Yeah. That's oh. Kendra. Come, like, she's mm -hmm. so Yes, Kendra. Um, oh, I gotta text Kalei back. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I mean, they sure did get a little money. Did they? How many likes I got? Like 700. Oh, shit, okay. Decent priced. 
so nice and neat. How much would y'all pay? I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not uh, reading. I'm not mad at this price, and we stand up for hours or so. It really takes us In Detroit, to they them. charge between one fifty and three hundred. For smalls, they charge between one fifty and three hundred. I definitely cannot. My do mom pays her braid like three fifty for those small. I would pay five thirty at the most. That's a hella random ass number. Five thirty. Mm-hmm. What's with the thirty dollars? <laughs> small dollars are five hundred. How do you? How do you charge for small? For small, I think my small might be four hundred. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 400, but the thing is, is like, so they do take hella long. Don't get me wrong, but I just could not personally, I'm not paying $700 for no fucking braids, but those are hella tall. And I know like as a braider, it is hella work, but I just can't fathom paying no $700 fucking dollars for no braids. But then again, it's like, if that's what the going rate is, I'm going to have to charge it. But I'm just curious which I would pay. I'm just curious. $700 is definitely a good price for small dollars. What? I feel like 500 Listen, but this is the question, though. Because y'all saying what is a good price. What are you going to pay? Would you book it? Or would you be like, hell no. Nah, if you seen $700. Because that's. She once I see that her seven hundred dollars, I instantly want to weave because absolutely not. Showed her the waist seven hundred. Mm-hmm. I did them to her. We did them to her waist. It was just the regular length of braiding hair, so it's not like I had to extend them or nothing. But seven hundred dollars, I feel like five hundred is the most I would pay for yeah. any style. Like after that, it's giving DIY bookie boo because I just can't. Micro small, yes. So they were small. Let me see. Can you pull them up, London? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. They weren't micro small, but they were pretty small. You think your mom get her smaller than that? But look, the yag is. We did them in seven hours, and we could have did them in six, but I didn't prep. Let me see. (laughs) This is how small they were, y'all. This is the TikTok I posted. I mean, the... um, this is what I posted. Them things are small. Sorry, I might have got a little joke. You wipe it on the cake. It's okay. Your mom gets her smaller than that? I feel like, yeah, maybe a little bit smaller. What? No, no, smaller. No, 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 Smaller. No, 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 no. No, yeah, it's crazy. Somebody charged 1K for that size. You did $1,000? Yeah, that's. That's sick. Donna, what should I charge for those? That's Double crazy. Seven, five hours. It's crazy because I'll pay for it. So I went $400 for braids. My braider charged me $180 for and kind of not. Not with braids. We've been locked in since middle school. Oh, yeah. You better keep her around, Boogie Boots. $700 firm. It's the firm. Them things are hella tiny. Donna said eight fifty. Where's the fifty dollars come from? <laughs> I'm gonna charge eight hundred and thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars and fifty cent is for my uh my Instacart order, my uh DoorDash order. Yeah. Medium knotless, I seen. Medium knotless, I seen four fifty. So why not seven hundred? Who is charging four hundred and fifty dollars for medium knotless? That's insane. No, 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 no. What? Not my eyelashes missing. I need to fill. Abby, I'll tag you on IG when it pops up again. Wait. Sierra, I want to know if you're talking about the girl who did my hair. Because she just posted that her client paid $1,100 for something similar. I would never do small knowledge braids. And I'm still trying to perfect my craft. But how do you think I should How do you think I should charge? For how much? The price is originally $700. $150 for me. And braiding down. <laughs> Nah, because we could we could knock off some time. You think you're faster than Monique? Is that why you're saying we could do it in four hours? Because we cannot do that in four hours. We cannot. But I can definitely do it in I could definitely do it in six. I think um if I would have prepped all the hair, I had to stop and prep a couple times because I thought I prepped enough hair because I prepped the same amount of hair that I do for medium. I prepped five bundles, but I think it took a little bit more. Like, I think I used a full two packs of hair where I usually use almost like a pack and a half. 
But I think because they're so small, oh my god, y'all, them things was tiny. Is her Sunday? Mm-hmm. We almost there. You know the top be feeling like it be taking the longest. Yeah. You be thinking you done and you just keep <laughs> going, huh? Yeah. I don't think he faster than Monique. I said five hours and I am faster than her. Sir. The thing is, is like you can't be hella pulling when you braid down because it's like the braids are hella small. They're hanging by a thread. And number two, it has to be neat. We don't want no lumps and bumps. So you still could do that and be fast. <laughs> like my prices and how do I build my clientele in total? I'll be taking three braid classes and I love both of their methods. yeah so you build your prices based on there's a lot of things that go into that the location the style um the amount of time it takes and then just like how good are you like where are you at in your journey so basically to figure out all my pricing i looked at like who i would consider people who are on my level or better in my area and i looked at what they were charging and i added a little extra or some stuff i kept the same price as theirs but you don't want to be below market you want to be at least at whatever the average price is. So if everybody in your in your area is charging, let's say 200 to 260 to do medium knot list and you, you think you're a beginner and you still gotta work on it a little bit, then maybe just charge 200. Yes, duh, have you seen me braid micros before? I feel like I haven't. I used to be a silent viewer only because I could never catch your lives due to work. Glad I got to chat with you today. Oh, thank you, Deon. Is it Deandra? Is that how you say it? yeah i'm glad you got to come in and chat i love talking and meeting new people especially my silent people <laughs> tatiana from people on tiktok they say word of mouth or building clientele mm -hmm. word of mouth is really good i think people like forget about that word of mouth asking your um clients to refer you handing out business cards y'all or putting business cards at the beauty supply shit sliding in people's dms Sometimes you got to really market yourself. It's not as easy being an entrepreneur, as easy as people be thinking it is. You got to be able to, you got to remember in the beginning, you're your, you got to be your biggest fan. You got to put yourself out there. And then social media is also helpful. Like when you do do clients, make sure you do photos before and after stuff you can share so people can actually see your work. Maybe I have seen you do micros, but I ain't really seen them up close. Because I like my shit neat. Monique Bray's real neat. You are dope. You're cold with the braids, but your sewings are dope too. I used to do sewings a few years ago. I got bored with it. You know, I actually want to get better at my sewings. The actual sewing it in part is not hard. I have issues with styling, y'all. I don't really know how to curl hair. I don't really like... I just... No. I just need to practice. But thanks so much for the compliment. I feel like I'm really one-tracked when it comes to um, sew-ins. Like, I could curl one way. I could, like, I could do, like, only a little bit. But I'll be trying. And my clients be making me try. London. <laughs> I got another client, too. She be doing that. She be like, you got to grow. I trust you. I would just be like, oh, my God. I'd be stressed out. Mm -hmm. But really, it's the styling. If I watch a couple more styling videos and just practice on my own time, I think I could. I think it's something I could get good at. Because that really be the hard part, y'all. Is styling them joints. These look so fucking good, y'all. I'm about to screw her back. Ooh, these 
hit in London. I feel like you gotta weave in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's giving. It's crazy. I could part everyone else, but my own is a struggle. Any advice for that? I watch all your videos. You gotta make sure you get the right setup so that you can see the back of your head. Some people will use like a phone and airplay it to the TV. I've seen that help. Or use two mirrors. But um, I notice like when parting my own hair, try not to pick up the comb off your scalp. Like when you start your part, try to slide your comb and not pick it up. You'll have a better chance of getting a nice clean part. But yeah, you just gotta make sure you get the right angles and you're able to see. Yeah. I feel like I'm the opposite because I started doing my own hair, so it's kind of not that bad. But doing knotless on my own hair is kind of hard, y'all. I'll be struggling a little bit. Yeah, I'll be struggling just a little bit. I'm glad I came on YouTube today. I thought I was going to be bored. I ain't going to lie, but I like y'all. I like y'all. Where's your mannequin head? My girl taught me she's also, wait, wait, wait. My girl taught me and she's also the one who put me onto your videos. Where's my mannequin head, girl? That thing is dead and gone. <laughs> nah, I have one, um, it's at my house though. But I'll be using it sometimes. But I just don't practice as much as I should. I'm not really hella interested in weaves where I'm like, I gotta go home and I gotta master this. But um, I definitely need to to whip it out and just practice styling. Because sometimes I have issues too when I'm doing silk presses. And people are like, oh, I want it curled. And I'm like, oh, like, you know who be doing that is Tink. She be showing me like curls she want. And I be looking like, girl, I don't know how the fuck she curled that like that. So I do need to get to practicing. You have a massage therapist. I'm going to spend a hit her and be like, look, my feet tired, back hurting. My last massage hurt, though. My body was tight to tight. You like getting massages? Or have you ever had one? Yeah. Yeah. You have? Mm hmm Okay. You like it? Yeah, they're really nice. Where'd you I get it at? facials, too. I don't know. My mom took me to some type of spa. Yeah, I, um, I never really had, like, I've had a facial before at a nail salon, um, you know, just one of the people who worked in there, but I feel like it just was kind of janky. Like, I don't feel like, it's not like when you go to somebody who, like, does that for a living and only that. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, I need to try it again. Yeah, my mom took me to, like, this girl who does facials, mm -hmm. and it was, they were, it was actually nice, like. It was nice. Yeah. I think I want to have a good facial. I'll be watching them on um, TikTok and I'll be like, mm. I just didn't like when they're getting the pimples and stuff. That shit hurts, huh? Like, it's like, it's a nice facial and then you're doing this. It's like, okay. No, for real. That shit be actually hurting. Like, that just messed up. It being and so then it's like, it's funny because I love to watch people get their pimples popped and stuff on TikTok. And I'm like, damn, this is what they be feeling. Like, that shit hurts, y'all. Like, it's like they're taking a tool and like scraping it. But then I'm also like, yeah, get it. But I be feeling like, am I bleeding? Like, that's crazy what you're doing to me. Next door, she's an esthetician. 
Ooh. I was thinking about it. I was like, hmm, maybe I should go to this. Let's see. You know, I'd be weary when they don't be black, but she had a couple black people who black hands. So I was like, oh, okay, she might be on to them. So y'all have like hairstylists, estheticians, and like, you know, like lash techs. Mm -hmm. There's like barbers, lash techs, makeup artists. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Imagine like having a shop and then you can just really go here for all your services. Like, that makes so much <laughs> No, I'm not doing that to you. I'm doing to that to whoever said they got a pimple on their cookie. Oh. Like, what? What are you talking about? And I hope it's not what I think. Because why? Why do we need to know that? Oh, God. Do better. Meow. Like, do better. How did you get the name Dope Ass Panda? So actually, um, it used to be my Instagram. Oh wait, it is my Instagram name. <laughs> so my Instagram name used to be Panamanian Devil. And I had changed it in college and then I had wanted to change it back, but somebody took it. And so I was like, oh, well, what can I, like, what name could I do or whatever? I like to have like Panama or Panamanian in my name because I always I felt like People would look at me and, like, didn't know what I was, you know? And so I would always, like, be like, yeah, you know, I'm just repping it or whatever. Obviously, I'm black, but people didn't know what the other side was. So then, um, yeah, one day I just came up, like, dope-ass Panna for, like, Panamanian. And, like, duh, because I'm dope. And then, and then when I started my YouTube channel, um, honestly, I didn't think I was going to get, like, famous or I probably would have, like... Not famous, but you know, like I probably would have changed it to something more appropriate. But yeah, like when I started my YouTube, I just did the same name as my Instagram because it's just like I didn't even plan on posting no videos. So who cares? And so when I started posting videos, it was the same name. But then once I started getting heck of views, I was like, OK, let me change my name because like I can't have a cuss word like that's just hella ghetto. So I changed my name. I changed my YouTube name to Brianna Renee. That's like just my regular ass name. I'm like, you know, Brianna Rene. That's perfect. And when I changed it, people on YouTube were hella mad. They were like, why did you change your name? Like, what happened to your original name, Top Ass Panna? Like, hella people said it. Like, damn near everybody. And so they were like, your new name is boring. Like, we don't like that. And so I just changed it back. And I've been Dope Ass Panna ever since. Yeah, that's the story behind that. All right, y'all, that's the last of that bundle. I did my big one with that. And she got three more braids, so that's perfect. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she got three more braids. That's nice. Tres mas, tres mas. So, yeah. So yeah, Dope Ass Panda, it stands for Dope Ass Panamanian, but I mean, people be just saying Panda, Panda, they say whatever, I don't really care, but that's what it stands for, Dope Ass Panamanian. And then it was heck of funny when I went to hair school. I had seen, I had, there was like a girl there who followed me or whatever. And she was like, she seen me in real life. Cause most people call me Brie or Bray. And, um, yeah, she like knew me from YouTube. She didn't know me in real life. And when I was walking by, she was like, Hey, Panna. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, why would she call me that? <laughs> like, I was like, that's hella weird. Like, why would you call me Panna? Like, what type of name is that? But now it's like, I like to be called Panna. I don't know why, like, I just like to be called Panna. It's like, yeah, Panna. Because everybody calls me that for short. But it was hella funny because when she did it at first, I was like, bitch, what? Panna, what the <laughs> fuck is that? But it kind of made sense. Like, it made sense. I'm like, oh, from Dope Ass Panna, but that's, yeah. like, weird. But now it's just like, we mean Brie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not Brie school, but, you know, it's just like I'm used to that. They said you look like your neck hurt. It doesn't. My neck actually really doesn't hurt. 
Y'all, these are pain-free braids. These are hella. London, they're hella full. This is on that one bundle. Look. They play too much. Who did that? <laughs> I was just about to ask you, have you used that app? I have. My Let me see yours. so cute. My <laughs> kids look so cute. I'm gonna show you, finish show you mine. Uh, Why well, Snatcher did my kids for me. Oh, uh, did he? Oh, he didn't send them to the chat. Donald, send my send my kids to the group chat if you're still in here. Send my kids to the group chat so I can show London. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my like, okay, god. Baby about to eat. <laughs> Your baby is about to eat. Oh my gosh. Look at Donald. You know what Donald look like? Oh yeah, duh. You watched the battle. Oh wait, time on. I meant to show y'all this. Look at my baby. Look at the baby. Okay, sorry. I just have to show you that because he's just so fucking cute. I don't like Donald for his kid in here. <laughs> that dude look just like him too. That's Donald kid. Oh my god. That's hella funny, huh? He's so like cute. Him. What? He has y'all some other ones too, but. Yeah, that's hella funny. Sorry, Donald. I just showed your kid on live. I don't know if you wanted to show the world. Mm -hmm. I love her hair. I can't sit still that long. It is a long time. It's only been like three hours, though. That's actually not bad, girl. You can't sit for that. How you gonna get your hair done? Right. Or you, what you just do with yourself? Because that's not bad. Would you so come with me if I... um? If I got in a car accident and I had a disability where I couldn't braid fast no more and everything took 10 hours, even if it was two braids. Okay, two braids. Wow. Is kinda crazy. Wow. Wow. The fact that you had to think about I it was kind of crazy. It's like a quick style for a reason. No, so but my disability, like... that it make, everything has to be at least 10 hours. Oh. I don't know about that. <sighs> Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. I see with that loyalty. What about y'all? Oh my gosh. What y'all talking about? Hold on. I have to use my app and how does it work? It's called Remini. They anything panda. What that mean? I don't know what y'all talking about now. Let me scroll on that. <sighs> Do you talk to yourself while you're home alone? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Just sometimes. I hella be doing that. I'll be making up scenes, everything. Okay. <laughs> making up scenes is crazy, but I really do. You want to curl or no? The ends? No. No. I hate Lion King. Why? Are you kidding me? That's like one of the best Disney movies. Hating the Lion King is insane. What's your favorite Disney movie? Let It Shine. What is that? Oh my god, I don't know what that is. not my generation movie. Or like Princess Tiana. Oh yeah. It's called Princess and the Frog, not Princess Tiana. Okay, but like... I hate when y'all do that. Oh my god. It's not just about her. Just kidding, it is. Princess and the Frog. <laughs> Let me 
hate the Lion King. That's actually crazy. When did you start your Ray career? When did you start making YouTube videos? I started making YouTube videos in probably like, shit, 2014. But I wasn't really like doing YouTube for real until like 2017, 2018. And that's when I started my hair career. In 2018, I went to school and decided to do hair full time. But I had been braiding like on the side, just not really full time. Was good. I've been hella busy. I apologize. No, PJ, you can't be forgiven. We needed you earlier and you weren't here. And I don't know that we can forgive you for your absence. Wait, Donald, did you see I showed your baby? And did you see him send my baby pictures to the group chat? Because no, you didn't. I showed your baby and send my baby pictures to the group chat, please. Please, please, please. I'm obsessed with you. I love you, Donald. Please. I showed your baby and everybody said, oh, look at little D. Little Donald. Just kidding. I don't even know what they said. Or you been in here the whole time, Donald. should I do like a giveaway you mean or what I haven't done a giveaway in a minute I just want to actually give stuff away to everybody but I can, damn I can't do that I don't know what I'm gonna do you think you've grown with this no. oh my god y'all her hair looks so good I wish I could see it in person okay I gotta do it dry and then I gotta do it Wait, did all y'all in this uh, chat, did all y'all get to see the, get to see the battle or no? Cause I know some of y'all don't have TikTok. If Miss Nett got TikTok, all the rest of y'all need to get TikTok. That's my girl. That's my auntie. And if she got it, the rest of y'all got, got it or need to get it. She's not pregnant no more. Don't ask that. <laughs> Y'all, come on. 
I was pregnant heck a long ago. It's almost been a year. Like, me for real. I'm just still a little chubby. I didn't really lose my weight, y'all, because I didn't breastfeed long enough. Don't do that to me. Don't break my soul. Y'all know she's not pregnant. That's disrespectful. Don't do that. Aw. I love you, Mrs. Baby. Yeah, that's what's in Y'all, I've been big for a while now, so it really doesn't hurt my feelings. But when I get skinny, though, y'all, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, I go and sit tonight. Don't be sensitive, it's not that serious. Hello? Hey? No, you're fine. Uh-huh. That's fine. Or she can come with me. I'm just going. To, I'm just running to get some food in um, Pleasant Hill. I haven't left yet, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Um, how long till you guys get here? Oh, like one minute. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, cool. I'm just about to dip my client, and then she could just come with me. I'm just getting lunch. I'm just hella hungry because I haven't ate yet. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. <laughs> okay, before I dip these curls, I'm going to have to just dip one and see what they do. Because I was like, who is that? You scared the heck out of me. Girl, I thought you was an extra client. Hi, baby. You heard me. You like, I said you scared me. I thought you was an extra client. Hi, Wanted. Okay, we good. Oh, this for her. She not. You not excited to see her? I'm crazy. Sorry, you. That could, let me move this stuff for you. My, uh, clearly, my life is a mess. How you been? I've been good. What, Brie? What is this mess? I know because I just. Well, I. You know what? You. You still got a little one. A what? Little baby. Oh, to blame on why my salon goes? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it was really my first time. I was supposed to come in early and clean, and then I just came in late, and from there it just went downhill, but we'll be all right. I'm about to clean it after I go eat. So what you up to? She been driving you crazy this summer? Hell no, she been at school, girl. Oh, she told me <laughs> I forgot. She been, girl, she been at school. I forgot she ain't feeling that. No. She's trying to be a hot girl. She got signed up. Let's go. Oh, yeah, these cute, London. I use human hair bundles. It looks good, huh? You like yeah. It too much? No, I um, like, you it. like I, it. I I can't keep up. I can. Yeah. No, but this is like bundle hair. That's I feel like it's cool. Cute. It's so cute. I like it. It's going to be a little more full, I feel like, when it dries, but I'm feeling this. And then I could dip it, like, you know? Yeah, that's how it is. When you, when's your appointment? Thursday. Okay. I need to, yeah, I need to. Like, I knew you was coming. You seen them little tiny ass braids I did? Yeah, I'm, $700. Is that too much? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I should charge for those? Four. 400? Yep. Are those hella small to you? The, yeah. They are? That's a like, that's what that you get? That's, yeah, that's like what you get? Yours should be looking like micros. But your friend does yours. Do you pay for yours when you get them done? Uh, yes. You do? Yes, and I full price? take them down. No, I don't pay full price. Oh, okay. But I, it's like, like a friend. I, I don't take that shit down either. Um, what does she charge for that size? Oh, that size? Uh -huh. She charged me three. Three? Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, hey. Um, you can just have her way in the front. I'm literally going to come out in like five minutes. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Hello, Beverly. 
Yes. Yeah. So wait, you pay three hundred? Are, are you smaller than those? Yeah, I'm smaller than those. Smaller? Yeah. No, I can't do smaller. I don't think my fingers would allow me. But see, you know how she part? I can't, I hate it. She parts with a clip. Oh, she does like the free part, like a C. Yeah, I don't like, like, I don't like that shit. I think Why? She's part because maybe if you part, maybe I, maybe I have bigger braids. Oh, you want it? You want the braids? Not that much bigger, but I don't want to sit there for no fucking twelve hours. Yeah, twelve hours is crazy. Yeah. Oh, these cute, London. Mm -mm. Now, what size are those? Cause I want smaller braids. These are medium. You probably want medium. Yeah, some medium. Yeah. Medium is one extra row, but they'll look way smaller than that. These cute though. You are not grown, Lindy. <laughs> you are though, but you're not. I'm gonna take some pictures outside because the sun is out. Okay. And what color is that here? Which one? That um. The that. one at the end. Yeah. Uh, thirty. You want something out in there? I do. Are you switching it up? Okay. Not the whole thing though, right? No, 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 no. I ain't that bold. I was gonna say, okay. You trying to be outside? But I can't, I can't take care of that though. This too much? Yeah, that, look, look come on, this is just, these are, this I is cute. This is cute. She, no, she can take care of shit. I, I can't. All you gotta do is throw some mousse in it. I feel like it's never, it's hella easy. Um, so I had words in a bun, right? Uh huh. And my partner, we went out. She said, I didn't know your hair was like that. Cause I wore it down. Oh, like in a. Uh, it was just down. And wait, you side. you had curly hair? Yeah. Oh, see. Oh, you did, but you didn't have this much though. Hell no, I didn't have that much. It was hard to keep up with what you had. Cause I yeah, I think this, this this hair was getting painted. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, you definitely can't do this. But Lenny, you got moose, right? Okay. She don't got no damn moose. Yes, I do. Where is you it? got moose? You see? No, I'm telling <laughs> you, not you got moose. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your mama, where? I put it in Zion's trunk and I left it. Yeah, brand new bottle. Damn. They probably using your shit. Well, she got your shit. <laughs> yeah, these are cute. Okay, let's go outside for these. These, 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 these hitting different. Let's take a ooh. Let's take a trip. Those are hitting different. Those are hitting different. Those are cute. Now she thinks she's cute. Now she be like an aloe weave. Look, you coming out? Exactly. Now she could be outside, girl. Why y'all thought of the same height as you? She's taller than me. Let me turn it off. We're going on a field trip, Samir. Yes, give me a second. Let me take some pictures of her hair. Oh, heck no. You like, let me hear It's hot. Okay, come stand. You stand right there. I'm going to stand on top of here. What am I supposed to do? Ooh, ooh. Just stand right here. I'm going to tell you. Turn to the back. God. Make me look a little, a little bit thick in there. No, <laughs> I can't make you look like something. Just kidding. Hold on. Make me look like this, like you got some booty? Yes. Hold on, wait. I thought I needed to get on here, but you're not that tall. These look good, London. Oh my God. I'm trying to get my cinematic mode. Hold on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, come to the front. <laughs> London, <laughs> you're so awkward. Turn to the back. I'm not. Tr I'm not recording you. Okay, just okay. turn to the front. Hmm. You like your hair to the side? I don't really care. Okay. You just want to decide. What side you wear it to? This the side. other side? Okay, flip it over. Flip it over. How am I supposed to do that? Just. <laughs> God, London. Come on, I'm burning. It's <laughs> fucking pissing me off. Hold your head up. Oh my God, London. Hold on. Damn, it's hot. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. It's only 80 something. It's hella hot. I'm burning. You live in I do. Where I live is probably a hundred right now, but I'm not there though. I'm right here. Okay. But don't like look stiff. Like just relax your shoulders. There you go. Okay. There you go. Wait, I'm just supposed to look. At yeah, just look. I'm not recording you, but I am though. Okay. Just look stupid. <laughs> it's 
Not looking right. Hold your head up. It's not looking right. Oh my God. Right there. Okay. I know. I should have did your damn video in the, in the thing like I always do. Just, just get out of my way. Well, you're not telling me to move anything, so it's like. Okay, just give me one of these. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay? Yeah, like that. Oh, you got to tell me to go. Ready, go. Yes, perfect, perfect. Look at me and smile. Thank you. Good, turn to the back. <laughs> and just do one of these. Like, you know how people do this? No. I got to put it up? No. Oh. Like, oh, well, technically you could. Oh. Maybe hold this. Other hand. Other hand. Oh. All this though, you're missing some. What about oh right there? Yeah, like that. Perfect. Perfect. But tilt right here. Perfecto. Hold on, wait. Drop it down. Oh my god, you're pissing me off. <laughs> okay, give me one of these like this. Like this. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, do it dramatic because I'm going to do it in slow-mo, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, just be extra because it'll look good in slow-mo. And then it's the last one, and y'all can not burn. Okay, ready? One, go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, my God. That was such a hella dramatic. Oh, no, they moving, though. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, that's good. Okay, thanks. Love y'all. See y'all. Okay, let's go back to my room for a second. What style are you giving? <laughs> okay, we might have to do that because I just used all my boho hair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not know you wanted boho braids. Yeah. But we're going to go get food first. I just have to come back here to get my... Uh, Wally, don't look at my room, okay? I'm just gonna yeah. clean this up. <laughs> Y'all, my room looks fucking crazy. Hold on. Are you hungry? No. no. Okay, good, because I eat nasty food that you probably won't like. Okay, bye y'all. I'll be back live when I get back here. It'll be like an hour. I'm just gonna go get some food real quick. Love you guys.